Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dredge. I've been waiting for this moment for so long now, but the DLC is finally here. In this DLC, they've added a brand new ice area, new NPCs, new quest lines, new equipment, and so many new sea monsters. So it's not just the new area that's new, there's so much stuff throughout the whole experience. Now originally, my plan was to just do the tutorial area and then immediately rush over to the new area. However, it turns out that area is full of crazy sea monsters, so that would have absolutely destroyed me. So instead, we're just gonna do a full brand new completionist playthrough doing all the quests all the endings all the stuff it's gonna be so much fun and in this episode we're gonna make the beginning of that already finding so much new stuff and then in the next video we're gonna dive into the new ice area so i really hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go oh baby <laughs> It's been a while since we played this. So I did two playthroughs on YouTube. The first one was a bit of a mess, and the second one was a full completionist playthrough. Hopefully, or at least my goal, is to do another completionist playthrough right here. I don't know how it's going to go. Apparently, this new uh, area adds like a bunch of new equipment as well for your boat. You can find new fish and stuff. And I'm just excited to see the new monsters, new crazy stuff, the new Lovecraftian uh, friends that we're going to find there. It's going to be fun. Oh yeah, we cra we we suck by the way. <laughs> Immediately crashed the ship as soon as we uh on our first day of the job. Oh here we go. It's been so long since I've checked out this game. Uh Monday day one, here we go. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to, our, to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back before sundown, before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Oh, here we go. Uh, on dock. Only thing we can do. Move forward. Oh, it's actually, it's it's treating me like a whole new player. I love it here. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna fish right away. It's like, uh, if, no, if you're watching this and you haven't seen me play the original Dredge, let me move to the side one sec. Here we go, so you can see my light and my powers later on. Um, it is a fishing game, fishing Lovecraftian horror game, where uh, you fish with uh, fish for fish, obviously, uh, and then you have to fit them in your inventory like it's Tetris over here. Uh, you sell this fish for, mo for money so you can get more upgrades and stuff. Uh, there's also lots of quests, lots of characters you can talk to, uh, uh, many fun storylines, and obviously you have to discover the secrets of what's going on here, because as it gets darker in the night, you'll discover... Oh, get that. Let's go. Special fish, golden fish. Uh, as it gets darker, you'll find some very crazy creatures around. Uh, the time only moves when you fish or when you, uh, like, go around with your boat, if I remember. Can we even get this one? Oh, we can't. We need a special... You don't have the right equipment for the spot. That's something we're going to have to be dealing with until we get later into the game. And we unlock a whole bunch of new stuff. Get this one. Oh, the, the corner fish. Now, every fish... I don't know if we're going to see this right away. Um, I actually did a playthrough where I got every single fish. And, I mean, I want to do that again here. Um, I remember some of the fish were really hard to get. Because not just do you have, like, the normal fish like this... You also have the crazy... Time only advances when you're moving or fishing. Uh, indeed. I don't think we can get this one. I think this is going to be deep as well. Yeah, you can hear them. Look at the sharks over there. Um, we can get that. Let's, let's do that right away. I don't know what happens if you stay out on the first day. Uh, where is... The, I haven't opened the map yet. Can I see the map? Uh, where is it? There's an area called the Pill Reach, apparently. I'm not seeing it here. Uh, do I have to look around? Okay, so I, apparently I didn't even realize this, but the map, you couldn't move the map like this <laughs> originally. And it's going to be somewhere around here, uh, somewhere in this area. It's literally coming out today. I got it one day early because uh, that's the, the privileges of being a content creator, apparently. I'm just, this, these are like the type of games where I'm like, wait, I get to do that stuff now? Now that I'm a YouTuber guy? Uh, I get to play one of my favorite games of all time early. That's so fancy. Okay, I'm going to get this note here. 
Yeah, this game is just, I don't know, it's like the perfect balance of like, that Stardew Valley-esque like, exponential upgrades, uh, plus just having the, the horror stuff with the crazy monsters, the mystery, it's all just wonderful. Uh, 20th of August, 1927, morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here, the layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of on the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a sun surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket hall half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the forefront of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. So, uh, we're gonna be discovering the story. As you can see, there is different messages, 12 total messages to collect, uh, that'll slowly teach you the story of what's going on here. Now, it is getting late, and our inventory is full, so I think we're gonna make it back. Also, turn on our lights so we don't get, um, don't go crazy. You can see this small line underneath. If you look at the time in the middle, there's, like, an anchor. Underneath there is, a like, a round curved line. That line is our sanity. If that eye opens and starts looking around crazily, uh, there will be all kinds of crazy creatures going. You can see, like, the, the red... Yeah, there it goes. The eye opens. Uh, and if we would be out at night right now, we would be attacked by crazy creatures. And I know that there's new crazy creatures for the re DLC, so we're gonna see those. You step onto the rock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was badly damaged before... B damaged... Too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I wanted to make this easy for you. Until your debt is paid, a tiny portion of your fish shells will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, pay off your debts and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. We're gonna sell them to the fishmonger, a good old friend. You entered a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The family smell... The, the familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? Uh, he, uh, it, it, it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyways, to, bi to business, I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on the other s islands might pay you differently, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. I got this special fish here, $12. This, that's $3 more than just this. I'm gonna, I guess, sell the whole thing, 100 Okay, they take like, well, 20% this debt. I, f I completely forgot about this debt. Uh, I don't think it's very important. You basically pay it off immediately. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make use of some, could make use, make something out of it. Why don't you take it? We get a research part immediately. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Shipwright, hello there. As you walk into the yard, you see a shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, uh, so this is an absolutely major part of the game, obviously. We have this basic uh, stinky fishing pole right now. Uh, which is gives me some bonus fishing speed and allows me to catch very important right there You can see catches coastal fish this one can catch shallow fish this one can also catch shallow fish So I could install uh, this tiny one right here on That uh, but I think I'm just gonna throw this weighted line on there once I have enough money Which I don't have right now. We could literally could we go out at night right now? 
I'm kind of curious, but let's do some research first. I remember, I completely missed this on my first playthrough. Oh, yeah, you could also get... Can we fit this already? Um, I think we can. Yeah, we have three spots right here, so we could uninstall that and install the... Um, the flexible fishing pole, because this one catches both coastal and shallow, uh, but we don't have enough. We only have one research part right now. We could also get the hydraulic rod, which allows us to catch those deeper fish, but until you get more inventory space, that's kind of hard to, to fit in your inventory because these sharks are absolutely massive. Uh, so I think we're just going to head out. Can we do this? I'm kind of curious. Can we? Uh, first day, just going out into the darkness. Because there is special fish during the night as well. You can see those glissary fish over there. They're very far in the distance. Those are also special. Um, I'm just going to take these real quick. I don't know what's... Oh, we get squids. And every some fish have different uh, mini games on how to catch them. But basically, they're all very simple. You just press... The button. Some are not as simple, uh, but most are. You just click the button when it hits the green. Oh, already depleted. Uh, my guy's going crazy. I kind of want to see the see the crazy creatures out at night. Can we? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Do we not have our? Um... Yeah, this thing. It's very important. You can look around for uh, different fish and what you can catch. There we go. We got squids over there. It's in the middle of the night. You can see that eye is going green. We could go to the opposite side and sleep there. I don't know if we can sell our fish there, though. Take this. I don't think I did any of this stuff on my first playthrough because I was just scared of the ocean. Um, which can definitely be a little spooky. Nice. Um, I don't know if there's going to be, like, a quest that... Uh, I'm going to go to the other side. I don't know if there's going to be, like, a quest that tells you how to get to the Pale Reach. Oh, you can see the eyes getting crazier and crazier. Uh, there's more. More squids. You can hear the little rumbling. No more uh, nice music going on. Oh, get the gold one. Yes! It'll just instantly fish it for you, so make sure not to miss the gold ones. You sometimes actually should wait to get those gold ones. All right, we're almost full. I don't know if we're going to get anything over here, but I'm just going to land here because my eye is getting red and it kind of paranoid right now. <laughs> Let's see. I forgot what's over here. Uh, we have our... Oh, yeah, the dock worker guy. Oh, it's a day trading, yeah. Uh, what's it like working on the docks? It's changeable as the weather. Ha! <laughs> Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay is not great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a T. It's good to... To get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. What else could I do for you? Okay, I can't do anything with you right now. That's still telling me to do this, but we don't have anything right now, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you enter a bl brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over the silver spec over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No. Ah, oh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, I could sell the- Oh, no, I can't even sell that. I cannot sell you my fish either. Uh, oh, yeah, no, the storage is just for... Uh, I think you could actually do this. I remember this. Yeah, you can open my storage. And I think you can just put everything in the storage. And then pick it up from the other side, because the storage is shared between places, obviously. Uh, we could also rest up here, but I think I'm just gonna leave and go to the other side. What's the worst that could happen? We're gonna die. Don't make me laugh. Okay, maybe, maybe don't do that. Don't do that. What if we do this? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> It's like the the evils in the dark uh, honking back at you. Okay, it's slowly getting day. There's a fish over there. I don't think we're gonna be able to get those because they're gonna disappear right as the, the day hits. Okay, well, we've survived the day. We are a little bit insane, uh, but that's fine. That's not gonna stop me from doing my job. I, I, I think this goes away during the day. I hope at least. <laughs> Otherwise, we're in trouble. All right, let's see. All right, so at first you just need to pay off your debt. Uh, oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, take frequent breaks is an important... Taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Uh, said no mayor or boss ever. Um, okay, so yes, I can get everything out of storage. So this is just a, 
I think it's gonna fit it poorly. Oh, it actually fits it okay. Uh, and then we can sell all of this, which might even be enough to... Oh! I've had special orders coming through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. They asked for one gold flounder, one gray eel. Just bring them when you have them. We need to have a rod that can handle shallow water in order to catch those fish. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Okay. So we're just going to sell everything. Look at that. All the money. Can I just pay my debts? Yeah. One dollar remaining. How about I just pay that off? Can you not do that? Uh, can I not talk to you? Uh, what can I do for you? I'd like to pay off the debt. Of course. How much would you like to pay? All of it. It's just one dollar left. There we go. Uh, fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? I want to ask about the wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to go to the pill? Where's the no pill reach? Wait. Am I... Huh? Okay, so apparently it is just here. Uh, I was just making sure that it's all installed, so I'm not, like, playing on the wrong version. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're- it also- also advice to do it a little bit later, but we'll at least peek our head in there, and if we get killed immediately, then we'll, uh, do some other stuff first to get some upgrades. We'll see. Let's just play the game, because I'm having fun with this shit. It's so- it's so good to be back. Okay, so we have a lot of money now, right? Uh, so we can actually buy ourselves a better rod. I uh, have, like, an extra piece of- if I buy this one, actually, oh, that's totally fine. We can buy a shallow fish then right away, which we need for that one special order. Um, you're looking a bit worse for wear. Where's the last time you had a good night's sleep? I don't need sleep where we're going. Uh, we're going to install this, which gives us huge fishing speed. Um, as well as the ability to now catch shallow fish as well as coastal fish. And it also reduced my insanity a bit. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with his spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, greater marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now, uh, Copium. In fact, I've granted a consent to the shipwright to expand our facility to all dry dock as operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's servers. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be with here with us. Okay, dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Okay, how do I get these materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't you worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay, so yeah, this is the main upgrade path. Look how much stuff there is here. You can get, um... You can get inventory space, you can get engine spaces, because you can only, I don't know if I already explained that, if I showed you that. You can only install fishing rods in these fishing spaces, obviously. You can only install engines in these spaces, you can install lights right there, so the more you get of these, the more you'll be able to upgrade your ship, which is going to be very important. Um, okay, so we have uh, everything we need. We're going to just head out, it's early in the morning, beautiful. We're going to get sh get some of those. We needed a great eel and a flounder fish, right, which the flounders I know is that one right there, uh, the big ones, I think. Can you go fast? There's no... Oh, yeah, you get that later. <laughs> I forgot the, like, uh, the speed upgrade. Spoilers. Don't tell anyone. Nice. That's the gray... Gold flounder. Sorry, that was the name of the fish. Very large fish here. I'll just get them all. I can fit them, even though the eels are very large. Yeah, gold one. Let's go. I'm not going to give you that one. And then we already saw those eels over there. Uh, there's a blue mackerel, but that's a an eel. And and we are indeed losing some sanity. I don't think there is, like, a need for sleep necessarily. Yeah, obviously, it reduces your sanity. Oh, yeah, this. Um, or it increases your sanity, I should say. That's one. He just needed one, right? So then with this, I have enough. And I can sell. I could get two blue mackerel so these fishing spots uh, you can see based on the amount of fish down in the water how many fish there actually are so this fish uh, because I already fished this yesterday it is very low and there was only one fish here so it is immediately depleted that is to like encourage you to go different areas because as you can see we're in this tiny area right now there's all these cool areas around and one over there um, which we uh, should explore in the future every one of these you can go to these areas in any order you want there is, like, a preferred order uh, based on, like, difficulty, because some later areas are absolutely insane. I remember when I first went to Devil Spine right away, I got my ass kicked. Uh, that stuff is very hard. So I think if we... We're gonna, just going to go down here, because this is where we need to go anyway. So we'll go to Guild Glyphs or Stellar Basin. Um, you can see how many power-ups you're going to get, by the way. Look at all these question marks. Those are all going to be unlocked. Can't... 
I'm so happy to be a stinky boat again. It changes so much. In the early game, it's like, wait, I was really mo When I watched my playthrough back, when I did like the eight hour long playthrough, I was like, holy heck, that was how the boat looked like on the first day. It's crazy compared to what you get later on. Okay, fishmonger man. Uh, have you got any fish? Yes, I do. I have everything, right? I have this guy, and I'm going to give you the worst, the smallest one. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. There you go. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. 50 bucks. Good, good. You should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. I don't see that many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Okay. Um, don't overcommit yourself. So we are going to sell all our fish. Let's go. More money. It's only day two. We already got this much money. Can we upgrade anything? Um, I would like to get another engine. It's only a hundred bucks. Uh, a light as well would be... Actually, a light might be way better. Because um, it's going to prevent ourselves from going absolutely, utterly insane. Uh, I, I... Oh, wait. I already bought it. Well, never mind then. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I should first um, install the other thing. But no. The light is fine. Now we now we can actually see. And we are now, no longer insane. So we're going to go out at night. We can actually see now, slightly at least. Because at night the fog rolls in. So we need a squid... And we need a... That's dredge. What's that, by the way? Is that also dredge? I saw a little... What's this? Oh, it's probably just... To... It's gonna tell me that the... the lighthouse stands above. Something like that. I remember this. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure. A vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. A lighthouse towers above. <laughs> of the writing. Oh, that's the grouper that we need. The black grouper here. With this light, we should have more sanity to be out at night. So you're doing these orders now. Uh, that is indeed a black group. It's already depleted. That was only one. I mean, I only need one. And then I need, a, did you say a couple of squid? Uh, there's another black grouper over there, but that's very far out. Uh, that's good. I can't aim this low. Oh, there's just fish laying around here. Uh, I probably did a bit of a oopsie daisy by getting rid of all the squid around the area right away yesterday. Uh, I should have kept one of those. That is, a. Uh, that was my bad, but it's okay. They're going to come back probably during the night. I'm going to go around here and check for more of those black groupers so we can sell a few. And we can also get those huge ones further back. Oh, God. See that? It was like a little <laughs> explosion under the boat. I'm only moderately insane. That shouldn't be happening yet. Come on now. Um, it's just that. I want to get the message. These ones. Yes, these are big. There's another black grouper. Oh, these are tiny. It's just, uh, I've been wanting to play some Stardew Valley. I remember the freaking minigame in Stardew Valley can get absolutely wild. Okay, there were only two there. Uh, get this one. This is only gonna be one as well. There's still one more, but I can't fit it. But you know, we can do the little trick that I taught you before. We can go to our, uh, to make it more efficient, we can go over here. Go to storage, store these, <laughs> and then on the way back, we can get more uh, that we couldn't otherwise carry. You really got to make use of everything you can early on, because uh, your ship has no storage whatsoever. I really want to get that message, and maybe there's some squid out there. I think we might have to wait until the next day to get squid. That's all right. You can get some extra fish. Oh, God. Don't hit those. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Any squid around these parts? We only got two hours. Oh, squid! Arrows. Wait, that's what we need, right? Let me see if I can make it to there. It's... it's They're gonna go away. Uh, this seems dangerous. I don't know if I'll make that. I think I might just get there and then they're gonna go away right as I, I land, but I'm gonna take the risk. Because they should disappear at six here. I think I'll need more than one. Come on. There we go. I can get one. <laughs> okay, I got one. I don't think that's enough. But we'll catch up tomorrow. Uh, and then we can get... There's also another message over there. Uh, blue mackerels. This thing is so nice, by the way. The the little lens that allows you to see what fish are in the distance was absolutely vital for doing uh, an all-achievements playthrough. As you see, if you just click that one, it instantly does it. 
wonder when we're gonna catch our first uh, aberrated fish. I think that's it's forced. The music in this game is so calm. This one there, that's the plated. We'll be taking this note, and there it is. That's not a note, that's a quest item, I see. Which, I don't know if, like, messing up those quests will mess you up. I always already, or I did all the quests when I did my first playthrough, obviously, because I didn't want to miss anything. Uh, 21st of August, one day later, we had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of our boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around a few times, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat, from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Okay, so same people. Uh, they had a little accident at the back of Greater Marrow, which is over here, so we could go to the back there. I also want to check this out. I uh, don't know if we can do much here yet. That fish, that's gray eels out there, which we can fish two gray eels, but I think I'll just fill it with these guys. Forgot if you can do something here early, if you get called over here later. Need to talk to the lighthouse keeper as well, because they got every, like, character in this game has, I mean, not all of them have, have quest lines or stories, but a lot of them. All right, we're going to quickly head over back uh, and drop off our fish. I think we needed more than one, but we'll see. Oh, here, the lighthouse keeper. That's who I wanted to talk to. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks you looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. I've come to meet people. I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shovels back along the path that leads to the light. Hello there, lighthouse keeper. Um... Good to see you again after all this time. I would like to, yes. Ah, uh, we do need to, but that's fine. We got one, and then I put them back when you have everything. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Rods and reels and rigs added to the cabin. So you get these books. Uh, I forgot about these. Throughout your, I can sell everything here, right? Yeah, I can sell it all uh, because I have the rest of my storage. You get these books, which uh, you can you automatically read while moving uh, in the water. And they'll give you like special power-ups and like better fishing speed and stuff like that, which is nice. I have this one black grouper here. I actually have two. Uh, I'll sell the rest. Look at that, a hundred for just these three fish. This is where the money is. Uh, so we got 300 bucks, which means we can upgrade again. Uh, so maybe now we get an engine, so we're just slightly faster. Uh, let's get that. And it's already night, which means we can go. So now we're already fully upgraded here. We just need to get like more research parts. And now it's time to see if we can find some squid around here. There's the squid. I just didn't find these last time. There's just a whole freaking fresh batch of them. Um, and after this, I think we start getting into the... I think we unlock crabs and stuff. Nice. Special one. It's just like... I don't know what it is. It feels like extra... <laughs> Because just in, like, Stardew Valley or something, you just, like, put it in your inventory, and if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Here, you have you feel like this weird sense of agency where you're like, no, I can fit that. <laughs> I got the power. I think I'm just going to head back and give him the fish to see what he got for us. Also, we shouldn't... Oh, you can see that already uh, back there. You can only see that during the night, though, I think. Which, uh, we'll be going there soon enough, if you know, you know. All right, sir, I got for you the last part of your order. Uh, which is this, the smallest one, the cheapest one, 20 centimeters. Uh, the fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I've been doing it since day one, dude. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I've been considering crap pots. There we go. I've got one right here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get, you could get it fixed at the ship, right? Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere and then come back a day or two to check on it. We've got a customer adding for asking for a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. And I can buy more. Well, we got more than enough money. So I don't know why we wouldn't just buy two more of these to get three of them total. So we get that order a little faster. And uh, my equipment could use some fixing. That is very true. I would like this to be fixed. Repair all. There we go. Seven dollars. Nothing at all. Um, I don't have any nets yet. I don't have another light slot. Can I upgrade my lights? Still, if we're gonna be uh, kind of stupid like this, oh wait, do you do that? Uh, 
right now. Um, oh no, we need we need to upgrade materials for that, which we need to dredge for that, which is the name of the game. <laughs> um, Mayor has something to say. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Could you please hand this package to the dock worker over there? I can. Mayor hand you a small damn package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Uh, we're going to sell the rest of our fish as well. Sell the 60 bucks more fish, which means we have another Inca. Or I don't think we should. I think three, if I remember, is like the sweet spot for this. You don't really want to have too many. So now we get a new power up, which is going to allow us to... There's plenty of things here. So I'm going to drop that one. Don't know if there's a reason to not put them close together, but I'm going to spread them out a little bit uh, like that. So all just at the, the start here. We can pick them up quickly and see tomorrow if we got anything. I think it takes like a full day, though, uh, to get anything. Any... There's more arrow squids. More dredging stuff. There's a huge oceanic fish, but we're just going to deliver this package. We meet again, Mr. Dock Worker. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. 25? I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book out of the pocket. Out of a back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Oh, wait a minute. I think we actually have to actively choose to read a book, if I remember. Uh, cabin? Yeah, here we go. We have to click on it so we can... I don't think it tells us what it will give us. Um, sustainable fishing. Actually, that one might be very good. If I remember, that gives you a chance to not deplete the uh, stock of a fish when you fish it. So you'll be able to get, like, more out of it. So just this one here. There would be, like, a small chance that it didn't get depleted and I would get more. Okay, it is night. Uh, and there is spooky fish out here. But I'm going to try and get that one black grouper over there and then head back. Can we get it just before the night? I think we can. Let's go. And it's one, only one anyway. Beautiful. I think. Oh, wait. No, there's another one. That's, <laughs> like, three minutes left. So let's go. And it's now depleted as well. Nice. Hello, Mr. Fishman. We got for you a hundred dollars worth of three fish. Oh, here. Not all schools of fish are sim same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking at it from the surface. Yes, you can. Um, I was I was curious when that would start appearing. Those are the spooky fish, as we come to call it. Uh, okay, so we have two, we have a lot of money, and you make so much money so fast yeah. in this game. I've, if you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. So we get a correct engine uh, operation. We'll be able to go a little faster with that as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then, did the mayor have anything to say about other errors? What happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, the last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The ship right almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long. He shan't be missed by us. Now what else can I do for you? Okay, well, uh... <laughs> uh I, don't, I still don't understand the full, like, full story, because the story is a bit ambiguous. Uh, we got blue mackerel over there i would like to maybe take a a little trip around the place because they they said they ran aground at the back of the the re oh god oh but they also said there was no fish there right so maybe i shouldn't go there early on because we if they dropped any items we can't dredge them up yet yeah, there's so many eels here those eels also give quite a bit of money uh i cannot get that one i'm just gonna quickly check if there's anything back here you got more eels here. Oh, I see something. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I almost hit the wall. You can definitely do that, by the way, if you were curious, if you could uh, smack your hole against the, a rock. Yes, and then you will have to pay for repairs. Could I Tetris one in here? I feel like I should be able to. Yes, there we go. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, now we are definitely full. I hope this uh, back here will only give me small things, like a research part, maybe? Uh, all that's left of this boat is an old hug, oh, old husk. You pull a little, you pull a little closer. Look inside. Let's go. That's what I was hoping for. And we get this. Alrighty. Well, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be discarded. You're gonna be discarded. 
And then I get two wood, which I'll be able to get an upgrade with that, maybe. And we have another research part. Uh, what are those? Those are gold flounders. We don't have any inventory. Can we fit? We can fit, like, one thing, but I'm going back to sell my stuff. Hi, Mr. Fishman. I got for you $85 worth of fish. He keeps telling me about the abnormal species. Uh, and now we have two research part. Yes, we do. Which means we can do our first upgrade, which I think should be this one. Just for the efficiency, so then we can get an ocean, or we can get that, uh, this one as well. So we can also fit o fish, fish oceanic. I think this is just a great first upgrade. We can also get a better engine, uh, or we can be get better crab pots. I can't even get nets yet, because I don't even have net slot yet. That would be a decent upgrade, but I think I'm just going to go for it. For this one, we have unlocked a new fishing, a fishing rod. Uh, which I will then immediately... Oh, never mind, it's 460 bucks. Okay, we can sell this, though, at the... Th these are the special trinkets the guy at the other side was talking about. Um, can I upgrade anything with this? I would like to get more... I can get two rod spaces. Two engine spaces is pretty sick. Or this is also pretty sick, but we can't really... No, this is all requiring metal as well. So the wood is not enough on its own. I'm just going to store it right here. Uh, also store this because we can't pick that up on the other side. Okay. Well, time to do some more fishing. Uh, even though it's getting... Oh, we got a fish with our crab pot. Look at that. Oh, we got two. Uh, the common crab. We needed a common... We needed a big one as well. You got a big one for us? The big one. Nice. And if you can get one as well and if this is a tiny one i think we immediately get everything we needed this is insane we got so lucky with that i remember on my first playthrough it took me like three days to get the crabs i needed here to complete this quest so that is insanely lucky uh i think that was enough Let's see. Uh, i have crabs oh you only need one of each never mind okay because this big one could take a while to get all right there you go fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money these will do Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damage when it's a shipyard. There's something I wanted to. There's something else I wanted to. Hmm. No, forget it. What do you want to talk about, sir? Uh, these are very cheap. Crabs, crab pots are a little strange sometimes. They, they can give you lots of money, but they can also be a huge hassle. Uh, cause mo every time, I mean, there's not really a reason to go fast in this game. You can just take your time, take your time, do whatever. Um, we're still, we're not insane at all. So we can't go out at night. Even though, uh, I think we're just gonna make it to the other side, get some fish along the way. Um, and then sell our special trinkets that we got. Alright, I literally only found one fish, so there wasn't much out here. I've been basically fishing this to completion. Mr. Trader, though, uh, I would like to take this out and then sell it to you. I don't think it's gonna be much, but it's honest work. Seven for the old iron chain and 25 for the citron ring. Uh, and then with this fish, we might be able to buy the new fishing rod and then install it right away hello sir i have for you 140 exactly what i needed because i think it was 480 to buy this right or 60 okay uh and then we install it over this one yes three hours only so it's back in daytime we cannot install this one but we don't need this one anymore so let's put it to storage i could also sell it I doubt we'll ever need that, but let's just keep it here just in case. So yeah, we got even more fishing power now, only 10%, but mostly we can get rid of this one if we want to, uh, because then we can, um, but this one fishes both, so then we could put, put like a different thing there if we if we need. Uh, anyway, I think I'm actually gonna, I mean, there's no reason to, to rest, right? There's only not that many fish around anymore. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, wait, I read the, I finished reading the book. Sustaining fish, sustainable fish and complete. Wait, let's see. Uh, so that gives you 10% chance to not reduce fish stock when catching a fish. So that literally means 10% more fish overall, which is huge. Uh, so let's do correct engine operation. Maybe that'll give us some additional speed. And it's a beautiful next day. Um, no more spooky. Spooky things in the dark. Even though we haven't seen anything, I think it rarely, very rarely happens when you're... Uh, let's go over there, actually. We, we've only stuck to our, to our, uh nice little area here but i there's a whole world out there for us to discover and you're like incentivized to stick around the starting area until oh there we go <laughs> look at that our first the all-seeing cod staring outwards unblinking eyes borrowed from a larger being but not the mind to process what it sees oh boy well maybe the the fishermen will be happy with that <laughs> let's go to there maybe 
Or there's a shipwreck as well. So many things to find, so many things to see. Well, there's more of these big ones. I don't think we have much inventory space, but I'll take one of them. I can fit this, fit that right there, this. It's so, oh, I can't fit there. Wait, it can't fit anymore because I <laughs> now I don't have the, or this fishing rod is bigger. And I also added an additional engine, which, wait. Oh, the peculiar engine. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. This was our starting engine. Okay, well, I can't fit that anymore. Let's see. Is this anything I can pick up? Uh, there is something here. One strong hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely breached. Try to get inside. You pull a bit closer. Manage to climb into the back of the wreck. You look around. Okay, well, there is definitely there's stuff here. Uh, that is way more important than these fish. We can fit this one here. Um, we get rid of this. This is not a problem, by the way, getting rid of fish. These fish are not that important. The, the dredging stuff is way more valuable, especially early on when you can't even get it yourself. All right, well, with that, I think it's time to head back and show the, sh the shipmonger our crazy fish and see what he has to say about it. Sir, I have you. Yeah, what is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling deep, stuttering, a deep, stuttering breath. Ah. <sighs> Now this is the sort of spe specimen to liven up my day. Mmm, I wonder. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open from its stomach. He pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in my days. I'll give this- I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Okay, he loves those. So now we get this, a once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the inside of a grotesque fish patterned with uh, delicate crimson thread. I have for you two, only two fish giving me 80 bucks. Chibity Christmas. Um, a man is look- I was hoping this, uh, I, I remember this. A man is looking at you through the cabin window. His face is mostly shallow. He's just freaking standing on my boat looking at my window. I know it. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have bi business prop- I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. All right. Well, we're definitely going to go see that guy. Uh, we're going to store our research part. We have to find some mini research parts early. We do now have enough to potentially upgrade something. Let's see. What would be our first upgrade here? Um, the net spaces are definitely kind of sick because fishing those. Actually, net might be huge, but we don't. We only have one cloth. Uh, engine is pretty good. The light as well. Actually light or if we want to be out at night a lot i think having an extra light is pretty solid here um i kind of want to we only oh, we can save it we can get this modifies two cargo spill spaces to also hold rods like this which means we can uh we could fit this with the small rod here and then the big rod over there i don't think that's very useful right now let's just sit on it for a moment because we're we don't have much money to buy anything anyway uh we're gonna head over to blackstone isle uh, as well as, I guess, first pick up these things. See what we got here. Pick up. Still one day. Oh, wait. We still had one day remaining, but... Um, yeah, we should just leave this here for now. Uh, I'll pick up the crabs, though. And then I don't think it matters that they're close by, so I'm just gonna drop it right next to the other one. Uh, and pick up this. Uh, wait, this is fish. Fish right next to my crab. Another small one. These small ones don't really give you too much, but the big ones are amazing. Okay, so we're gonna head over there, the island that we almost went to before. See what the guy wants with us. Hi there. Look at this one. This island will come here quite a few times. <laughs> the man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. The game is so, like, the... Uh, the later t uh, portions of this game absolutely blew my mind the first time I played them, so it's going to be interesting to see it. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously. If you know, don't spoil it in the comments, but there's some big reveals later on, which are really cool. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies mm -hmm. it. 
These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. This is where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in, way in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept an excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. So now we get the dredge crane, the name of the game, baby. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch. A music box and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about the, about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. All right. Well, um, I think it is about time for us to go to a certain place where we that we read about in the. Oh no! Look at that. You see that other boat? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stay clear, stay clear of that boat. No! No, 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 um, hello. How are you fucking out here? This is literally the starter area. Okay. Uh, he is very evil, and I'm not gonna be dealing with that guy, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna sell my stuff. I think you can get that during the day as well, but we're gonna take the other way around, because I don't want to deal with that guy. Fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? Wait. Have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested to take- she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the builder. Hi there. Uh, you approach a woman sitting on a dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like? What's it like out there? Uh, it's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad out here. I, I can't go back. That sounds ominous. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move on. I mean, really move. There's an island I heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at steel point. When you have anything, I'll pay you when the job is done. Okay, well, we almost have that already. Uh, lighthouse keeper? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Hello. She eyes you suspiciously. I think that person going south, the, the phot photographer, is from the DLC. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Because that's where we're going. Mm -hmm. South is the is the Pill Reach area. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see a... An unnatural glow rising from the patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I really, th what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Okay. <laughs> uh, who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw the ill fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through these windows. Whatever you've got planned, I know, I hope you know what you're doing out there. You heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. <laughs> Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is it this just another one of the fog's tricks? The frickin' vibes in this game are so good, man. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's addicting. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head over there, hopefully not die in the process. I think we're gonna go the other way around. We still have some time in the night. We can also- I really want to go there. Wait a minute. Is that a- what is that? Is that something I could do? Oh, it's maybe an arrow squid? I want to get those crazy fish that he was talking about. Oh, yeah, this one. Let's see. Is that a shark maybe? Oh, it's a, it's a crazy shark, really? Damn, I wish I could have got good to get that one, but we don't have the right equipment for that. We're gonna go this way around. I think there might be a ship out here. Let's honk our horn. Maybe we'll- 
Oh no, there's someone back there. So those big ships, well, I think they'll honk back. Or it's just an echo, but I'm pretty sure that's those crazy ships. We should maybe hide our light, but it's going to make us pretty crazy very fast. If we do that. Um, oh, I see bubbles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have to get this. You, you can just only see it at night. Oh, this as well. Wait a minute. I didn't... I knew I figured this out at the very end of my completionist playthrough. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes, and you can before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. So, um, I don't know if I can get this right now. But these are actually very special can I can I do it? I need to you need to get insane enough to be able to talk to these rocks, which I think I only figured that out at the very end, and then I went around the whole map talking to them. Yeah, I don't think we can get a saint. I think you have to- Oh, no! What the fuck? Stop it! What the hell? There's crows. Get out of here. Common crab! They stole my crab! <laughs> Leave my crab alone. Oh, they're stealing my blue mackerel. Well, rip my- rip my stuff. I'm- I'm no longer insane. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be waiting until they're gone. <laughs> oh, look at this right here. It's dredging time. Uh, I also read the book. Let's go. So you have to basically go around and look at that relic discovered. Return to the collector. Remember my first playthrough when that took me fucking five hours before I found this one? I remember. <laughs> that was not my brightest moment. I literally just, like, was so lost. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just not paying attention, I guess. Get all of these. Get these bonus fish on the way back. Okay, I'm gonna go because I can't fit anymore. Uh, and I want to talk to you immediately because he's gonna help us out big time. Hello there. Uh, Ruin Mansion. You enter the collector's house, standing at the back of the room. Still holding... He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. <sighs> well... You have something, don't you? Show me! You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key. The teeth. The head. Now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision as you stag and you stagger back briefly. Now go. We have more relic to relics to uncover. Ability unlocked. Haste, the game-changing ability that you absolutely need. My intuition tells me that the currents have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. <sighs> are there any other powers? I don't have other powers. What are you talking about? How long have you lived here? <sighs> Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? <laughs> Where should I look for these relics? My intuition tells me that the currents of care. Yeah, you already told me this. Okay. Uh, I've already marked it on your map. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, we're out of here. So we now have a location... There's this, which is for the quest, uh, the quest location. And then there's this down here, uh, which is where he wants us to go. We also have workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used. Go inside, it's locked. All right, rip. Ripperoni then. Haste added, here we go. So this ability, oh, wait, how do you do this again? Hold E, there it is. And then you can go so much faster. This unlocks the world. You can now go everywhere like that. that sound i thought that's the sound of the gi giant you know what <laughs> the giant guy oh i need to move a little further there you go you can see that because if that bar goes to the top 
we're in trouble. You don't want that bar to hit the top because your boat will basically explode. Uh, but now we can go around way quicker. I think it makes you slightly insane when using it, which is going to be fun. Uh, let's see. My inventory is relatively full, but I'm going to grab this thing right here because it's glowing. A special glow, which means it's a special item. It's either like a really rare relic or something for a, um, for a quest. Belt buckle. Bronze belt buckle. Uh, we also have more than enough space. This is metal, though, I think. I can take one metal and fit it in our inventory. We would really love to have more inventory space. But we're going to unlock those over time. That's the that's the joys of being in the early game. <laughs> you just get screwed over. Can we... We can probably fit this if I'm smarter. Let's see. Yeah, like that. We can fit one cloth in there as well. Where's this cloth? Oh, it's a uh, treasure. Wait a minute. What do you got for me? You got oh, one of those, and that's all you had. All right. Well, let's go to Little Marrow first before we just uh, before we go back to Greater Marrow because we just found a special relic, and I think a certain someone here would really like to see that relic. Let's see. Uh, grieving Father. Hi there. Hello. Is everything okay? Oh, he asked me that. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see. My only son was lost at sea some time ago. Some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere. In one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his memories were with me. You wore a bronze belt buckle, specially graved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. You have the belt buckle. You can say fucking no here and sell it to the guy, you absolute monster. Of course I'm going to give it to him. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not got any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Yes, it definitely does. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, do you know, what do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't go out a lot anymore. I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back! He would cry over and over, begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything I can help you with? No, I think uh, you told me more than enough. All right, we're going to talk to Mr. Trader because we have this to sell you. And we have more in storage as well, right? Yeah, we have this one. Uh, we have two this. What this in storage. Uh, also lots of... Wait, don't we have enough though? We have enough to do the quest. We have two lumber and two scrap iron, uh, which is what we needed. I would like to... 25 for that. So we can actually go to... Let's just do that immediately. We might go as insane along the way, but that's that island over there that we we saw earlier. I really need to not explode. Oh, we're gonna see some spicy stuff here. Wait, this means we can now get insane enough to talk to those rocks, which I don't know how, I guess I was just managing my sanity too well in my first playthrough, so I never figured that out. No, 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 don't turn off the lights. That's gonna make me super crazy. Wait, there's uh, more stuff here. Uh, wait, did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up. Well, we can find it here. I think there is enough around here to find it yourself. So let's just go around dredging a little bit. I should have picked up that stuff. Unless there is a storage box there. I think there might be a storage box on the island. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. These are rocks that don't exist. <laughs> they're, they're sanity rocks that appear when you get too crazy. You gotta, you gotta keep your eyes out once you get, uh, a little too insane. Let's see if there's a storage box here. That might not be. Uh... No, there's not. But we can, um, this is where we can stack up the stuff. Let's just look around here for, oh god. Actually, I think I may be doing, uh, if we just head back, right? Let's head back, get the frick out of here before we die. Oh god, go, 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 go! No! You didn't see me. Sir. That the frickin' ominous burn. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Oh, there's, no, 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 no! He's behind me. Okay, it's terrifying. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Yup, alrighty then. <laughs> Holy shit, the fact that my ship still works. How is that possible? I didn't lose anything though, which is very nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you go out at night. Uh, <laughs> let that be a lesson to you, kids. <laughs> If you, once you get a haste, you can really easily stack up your insanity so much to the point where 
Yeah, those type of stuff started happening. <laughs> and that's just one of the many things that you can see. Okay, so we found two more iron. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if this gonna happen much during the day. Now you really, like, you can always sleep to get some sanity back. I'm gonna grab these because I think they're probably broken by now. They are broken. This shit gives you so little. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't cost you much. Something slithers into your cargo? What? Oh, come on. I can't carry it. It needs repair. Uh, yeah, I can't fit this. We're gonna have to leave that for now because I need to repair. You can easily lose some very important fish this way, by the way, which is very, very sad. Par especially if you found, like, literally one of the rarest fish and then you lose them this way. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards a dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns away and walks backwards towards the lighthouse. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe that means something. You, you should think about it. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They go mad. Well, perhaps... But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, and he will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Alrighty then. Okay, so this thing is now infected, which means you get way less money for it, which is unfortunate, but that's just what happens when you get a little too crazy. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here, and nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by the morning. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now. We're going to uh, repair our boat. Because my boat got a bit of a beating. 75? Jesus Christmas, that is expensive. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> Let that be a lesson. Okay, so we're going to pick up this one and this one. Uh, we got... Oh, yeah, the fish rot when you leave them in here too long. I forgot about that. Uh, so we should absolutely immediately sell these right now. Uh, and I guess we'll sell them the rot or we'll just discard the rot. I don't, I don't want to sell that to that guy. Uh, so those... I think if, you, if they're fresh, they sell for a little bit more as well, obviously. Okay, so let's grab these two. Let's do this quest. Uh, and then we're gonna immediately go over there. We can also, we should also quickly repair these uh, while we're at it. Yeah, we got a golden crab. Look at that. Oh, come on. Nah, it doesn't fit. I just, it's fine. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna repair these real quick. All right, there you go. They're all repaired. Now we can head over there to drop off our stuff and build for a house, I guess. Deal point. There we go. Material stock. Oh, this is where she wants to build. We have exactly enough. Which, this is pretty expensive, so you better give me some stuff back. You delivered all the necessary materials to let the builder know. Well, before I let the builder know, uh, we're going to get more materials right here. Look at all these dredgeables. This is crazy. Uh, this is why I said that you could definitely get enough around here. Um, to do the material stockpile right away. I hope I don't get too insane. My lights are on. Uh, we really need this. This is very important for your upgrades. So I'm gonna just take all of this, see how much I can fit. All right, never mind. On second thought, I don't think I should be here this long. It's getting a little spooky. I think we should actually just full on rest here <laughs> for the first time. Let's have a good night's sleep. We haven't done any of that. Uh, resting until dawn. You could just wake up here now because we already, you can see that the eye is already down. Um, oh, uh, you're still there though, excuse me? I guess those, those aren't tight to sanity. Uh, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna wait the whole way. Oh, you could hear it go underneath. Yeah, there you go. Look at that guy. He goes back underneath the water. I've never seen that happen. When the... When the night is done. Well, I still have two different places here. Get some cloth, yes. Which we needed for the net upgrade. Which the net upgrade is one of the... I remember that being insanely good in the early game. Wait, hello, sir. I see SOS sign over here. I think we, uh, <laughs> there's someone in need for help over here. Uh, I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. You look terrible. Are you okay? I bet I do. I've certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish for longer than I'd like. I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would never come, would, would have come to find me by now. But yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boy send you looking for me? Uh, I'm sorry, no. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me the little marrow stranger? I should be able to get, 
to catch them uh, there when I next stop by. All right, I'll take you to Little Mara. Oh, you're a fat guy. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to drop one thing then to be able to fit your ass in here. I think I'm gonna drop the lumber here and put you in there. We need to, you need to go to Li Little Marrow. The castaway climbs on board. Alrighty, well, we'll drop by Little Marrow first and then uh, go tell the builder we built her stuff. Oh, wait, it's a special fish here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we deliver your ass. Uh, we need to do this before the night. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. Mm, I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something to you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. A ship's wheel sigil was a... Oh, no! He was the captain! <laughs> Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. So he probably was the captain and his uh, crew let him go overboard. Oh, it feels bad, man. All right, we're selling 90 bucks. Yes, please sell that stuff. Uh, two trinkets worth even more than that. And then we have one more here, which I think was also worth quite a bit. A customer, returning customer, please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. You get the relaxed mind. Oh, that gives you less weight. Actually, speaking of those, we really need to read another one. Let's read that one immediately because our sanity is pretty garbo right now. Uh, we'll put this in here. Look at all that stuff. And then I really hope we can get this fish. Yes, I was going to be sad if it was gone already. Because then we can give that to the uh, shipman. Shipmonger. There, look at that. <laughs> the cyclopean flounder. A sprawling jellied mess spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. <laughs> Jesus. These are not normal, huh? There's more here. Give me all of these. It's depleted now or it's gone. We can get some night fish as well. Anymore. There's a crazy fish over there, but that's probably the ocean fish, which I can't get yet. We'll be able to get that soon, though. Gold. You get so much money in this game. I remember eventually. Like, it's mostly... That's the thing. You you have to worry about money, especially early game. But you mostly have to worry about the special resources. So, really, exploration is the main thing that's rewarded. Um, because the more you explore, the better special stuff you find. Which will really... Like, this upgrade here, the fact that we can now <laughs> go way faster. Which will allow us to get away from dangers and stuff. It's going to be very important. We need to talk to Builder, and we need to deliver this to the fishmonger. Uh, I guess we'll first deliver... Have you got any of these mutant fish? Yes, I do. Remember, any will, su will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. I got a fish for you. Uh, but first, I'm going to sell... Uh, yeah, let's just give it to him. There you go. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Mm, yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two twos research parts? Let's fucking go. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with the creature quickly now. All right, we're going to sell you all this stuff and get out of here because you're a little cuckoo. Uh, we got four, five hundred bucks, basically. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear a heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. No more talking to him for a little bit. Hello, builder. You've done it. Well, no sense wasting time. Let's get moving. Well, oh, well, I guess I'm taking you over there. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onwards bound. Um, can we... Let's see. So we can upgrade now. We got four... Oh, we can get this, depending on where we want to go first. Mangrove... Uh, coastal. I think the oceanic rod is a pretty good upgrade right here. So we can fish those big fish. The problem with the oceanic rod is that we could get this one as well. Big engine for three. We can get this and then fill or put our buy this engine. I think I'm actually going to do that. Because this is only one. We could do that later. But we have exactly enough to upgrade. This one gives you yeah, way more overall i mean it's not that big of an upgrade but it's still twin propeller engine still good to have uh let's see i can buy this now which will be 36 compared to our 25 yeah that's huge upgrade and i gotta sell this stuff okay um just install this over here 
I can't. I have to oh, fuck. put it in storage. And we have to uninstall this one. Put in storage. And then install this on top. If I could. How do I do this? How do I install? Oh, here we go. Yes, there. Uh, install it. Put this back at the cargo. We could sell these. Uh, I think this one I'll keep. This one I'll probably sell. Just get a little bit of money back. Uh, 50%. So, yeah, we got a better engine now. We're, like, 50% faster, basically, which is very, really nice. Um, and then, can we upgrade anything at the dry dock? Remember, you don't have to do any everything at once. We can get more engine spaces, which is too metal. Um, you know what? Sure thing. Need 100 bucks as well, which I just barely don't have. Let's put that in there uh, so we can get the engine. We can get the cloth as well, right? Yeah, oh, well, we need a little bit more for that. Just try and set everything up here. We could get more fishing rod spaces as well. We need this. So we just need three lumber. And then we can get, like, three lumber and money. And then we can get all these upgrades back to back to back. Um, so let's let's first go over to Steel Point again to deliver this lady. Wait, what? Is that real? Wait, I'm very curious. Is that a thing or is this fake? Is this probably fake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, that's cool. It's like a fake island. I've never seen that. Uh, they must... They may have added new, uh... New insanity things, because I don't remember ever seeing that fake island before. Um, Alright, lady. What are you gonna give me? You better give me something important. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome to come back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these always. Good to have on hand. That is huge. I'll take that any day. Over a little bit of uh, cargo. The upgrades are amazing. Uh, there's more dredging around here, though. We can now start exploring in the larger uh, larger area around. There's two here. Nice. Oh, there's even three. I don't know if that counts. Or if my fishing perk made me get an extra one here. But that's real nice. Alrighty, I'll take those three. Uh, we could still fit a lumber in here. I don't know if there... There's lumber around the starter area, right? So I guess we could... Oh, there's lumber right there. Uh, we could fit one... One exactly. Maybe if I move this one... Slightly down. Now we can fit two, yes. Oh, well, there only was one in here anyway, so that didn't help. But I'm pretty sure there's more over there. Nice, one more. All right, there we go. So with that, we can upgrade a few things. And there's an aberrated fish. Which I cannot fit in my inventory, so that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Let's see. I have for you... I don't have much money, though, so I guess we can't really purchase this yet. But we can upgrade the four rod spaces. Now also hold nets. Okay, so we can put a net here, uh, which means we should upgrade this as well, but it's going to be fine. Uh, we just really want this one. Oh, yeah, but we need that refined material for that. Uh, and then we need one more there. The light needs this as well. So we have more than enough scrap metal already than we need. We can just start going crazy on these upgrades. Put this back here, put this back here. Already two more, so we could upgrade that and get some sharks. It's kind of fun, but we don't have enough money for it. Is there just thunder going on? Um, all right, I think we just need some money. So we're just gonna go get some fish real quick. First of all, check if our, uh, thank you, take all. Huge. These are worth quite a lot. I don't know if they buffed this, because this used to be as super stinky. Wait a minute, can I get there in time? I want to get here in time to get the special fish. I don't know if we'll be able to, because we'll only get to catch one. No! <laughs> That's unfortunate, but it's okay. But I actually don't know if the fishmonger wants to talk to us, because he was, uh... Yeah, he's barred. Okay, well, I guess we'll put this in storage, and then it's probably gonna rot. <laughs> Before we can sell it, but it is what it is. We'll do another fishing trip real quick. And then hopefully by the time we come back tomorrow, the fishmonger is uh, no longer eating his crazy fish. Oh, we read the we read the book as well. The Relaxed Mind. So now, uh, next book. What do we get for that, by the way? 10% uh, resilience to panic. 5% more power than listed for the engine operations. Now we have rods and reels. Um, really like the way they do these upgrades. Just like that delayed gratification of like having to read the books which is just like you you get it like after an hour just that little bit of action from the player of like actively choosing which book to read makes the fact that you get something for it so much more satisfying if they just gave you the upgrades and be like yeah here here you go get give yourself uh 
you get 10% more uh, more efficiency. It would still be satisfying, would it? I, I feel like the way they did it here is just very clever. Oh, hi there. Oh, no, it's a ship. Oh, no, why? Oh, God, what's happening? No, it's a tornado. Help, help. I'm stuck. Everything is going crazy. I need to land. I need to land. Man, I wonder if this gets more and more aggressive once you get haste. I mean, I guess haste makes you crazy, right? So that's why. All right, leave me alone. Uh, fishmonger. Oh, he's back. Let's go. Um, I wish to sell you all these fish. Uh, a blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall any day. What can I, anyway, what can I do for you? And then we really need to sell all these crap before they go bad. Because that is another, like, 140, which means we can get that first upgrade in the dry dock. Uh, this one right here, which the speed early on is so important. Two engine spaces. Oh, they're to the side. <laughs> what a scam. Okay, that's fine. Then maybe the other engine would have been better because that one had this shape. Uh, I mean, we can get that upgrade in a, in a... I guess we could get that upgrade right now, but I'm happy with what I have. Okay, so we're... It's almost next day. Um, let's see. What do we... We could go to Gill Cliffs now uh, because we have done the base... Some of the basic missions here. Uh, and then Gale Cliffs is the first step towards reaching uh, the Pale Reach, which is the DLC area. Because we don't... I think we do have to... Do we have to go back here? Can we do dry docks on other areas? I'm pretty sure we can do dry docks in other areas. Uh, I think I should take these uh, crab pots, though, if we're going to actually go over there. So let's just take all this, repair it, and then we're off to new, new greener pastures. Alrighty, it's a brand new day. Don't I'm still a little crazy. Uh, let's see if we can find any cool stuff along the way. There is crazy fish. He's always. I think the crazy fish sell for even more. There's two, two crazy fish. One back there as well. Did we already get this one. We did not. Many-eyed mackerel. Gill plated dotted with eye. Gill plates dotted with eyeballs. Super fluids, but scanning frantically. All you see, all I see right through you. Jeebus. All right, I'm gonna not take too many because we're gonna be full with inventory soon. We definitely want to take some dredge stuff as well. You anyway, can always go back here quickly. Wait, there's I think there's multiple variations of these, if I remember. Some of them have, at least. Yes, there, another one. Grotesque mackerel, corrupted skills and bulbous eyes, like nothing you've ever seen before. <laughs> okay, I think it's uh, over there, this way. Those right there, the gill cliffs. Uh, we can also see if there's anything we can pick up along the way, because every one of these islands has... Oh, God. What? That was sick! <laughs> the freaking Moby Dick uh, ate the tentacle. I've never seen that before. That was so cool. It's a little... Adding more touches like that, because the, the atmosphere is already impeccable, in my opinion, but those type of things, like... When the frickin' giant fish circles your boat in the frickin', you know what I'm saying? That shit gets so spooky. It's super cool. Uh, a rotten mast lays down on an island, half hidden by foliage. Look inside. Give me all the low loot, baby. Uh, definitely want... Don't need these mackerels. I, I only want the special ones. This. That. We don't have much space for anything more, so we're just gonna go straight towards there. And you can already see a little town over there. Dude, these are... <laughs> I'm so happy to play this game again. This game's so fun. So good. Like, if you like... If you've ever played, like, a, a, like a farming sim, a fishing sim or something, and you... Because I think this game is really good to start. Like, it's not very it's not a very scary horror game, right? But it gives you that, like, spooky vibes that are just really, really fun, in my opinion. This lady right here, or person, I don't know, um, is going to be very important for us. Huh. Hello there, traveling merchant. Ahoy there, a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. We should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I hold a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. I am indeed ready to trade. And there's also a shipyard here. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk to you. Hey, hey, come again for a chat. Do you need help with anything? 
Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records from each where, of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. I reckon you could share your info with me. Sure, I can help you with that. Pursuit added. Great. The fish I have left to track down are Oarfish Gulper, Eel Goliath Tigerfish, and Coelacanth. Although I know a little about each species already, so maybe you can, I can point you in the right direction. What did you want to know? Uh, I think if I remember, this one is relatively close to here. Actually, oh, <laughs> never mind. Then they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? What about the other fish? Uh, this one? These guys are legitimately scary. They hunted murky, swampy waters using the shade of trees. Uh, so that's in the other area. Gulper eels. I know that gulper eels lives, live at the deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch one of these. What about the other fish, the oarfish? Given that the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they live in a reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs, which is where we are right now, would suit them. What about the other fish? All right. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have any of them. We're going to talk to you because I want to store. We have my storage here as well. This stuff. We could leave our... Um, we can't sell her that, I don't think so. We have three spots or three science things. Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by a pontoon a little while back. This is the lady we need for the quest, uh, for the for the DLC. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs, sighs what, wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. Anyway, she said uh, she was setting up on a small island to the south of the south of the Marrows. You're, if you're in the area, maybe you could check on her. South of the Marrows? Uh, okay, so one of these islands here, we should really go there, because then we can start to, we can start to think. Uh, first though, I want to sell my fish on the fish market, which is $69, nice. <laughs> and then we have 200, which means we can probably, wait, 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 where's the dry, wait, we don't have a dry dock here, floating dock, there we go. Uh, she can upgrade her stuff, which we can take the four rod spaces, can also hold nets, or, oh, the, actually, I think we should... Okay, can I take this out? Oh, I can't. I was going to say I can't take it out. What a scam. I'm going to take this out because I think the light space is way more important right now. Because then we go a little bit less insane. And then we buy um, another light if we can. Oh, it's probably 100. Oh, we can buy this one. 275 for 100 or 1,800 lumen compared to this shit. I mean, this is still pretty good, but this is way better, obviously. So let's drop... We're obviously going to head out, right? But let's drop stuff here. Um, because we're going to stick around this area for just a few moments. Like, there's a few people we need to talk to before we head on uh, to the another area. Uh, artifact manifest added to cabin. Oh, we're also almost done with that one. Um, from Vessel SY Grand Prize, owner My Mr. Michael Schultz, Gil Cliffs. Oaken music box, here we go. Uh, purchased from an antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. That's the letter J, Julie, uh, carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanisms. Pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask, carved wooden tribal mask, set to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Straighted for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set, bone china, all kinds of fancy stuff. Do not use a uh, jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. <laughs> okay, so all that we care about here is the Oaken music box, which is apparently in this area, uh, they say. Let's uh, stop quickly at this town here. See what they got. I, I need to get some fish before it gets night. Can I get these? Just to discover a new fish here. Oh, yeah, this one. This is very different. Wait, they're also during the night? No, they're gone. Wait, we got an aberrated version already? Gnashing perch, eyeless and mindless, driven only by the desire to consume a purpose satiated many times over. And there is more fish. I don't know if we can sell them at at the oh these are loose. this is like a stonefish stonefish exactly there's so many different fish in this game they definitely absolutely nailed the art style of this game we read the other book and still got one more the bigger and more annoying the fish is to fit into your inventory usually the more expensive it is uh 
that's just how things go in this in this game. Right, but I want to talk to these chaps over here, see what they got in store. Maybe some extra quests. You can see the lighthouse, by the way, still. You saw that in the middle? Uh, Ingfell Resident. What is it? Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've have I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You must say they're that they, you may say they're rotting, but they're del delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them and up and eating them. I can I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? I can. You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch them? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night, which is right now? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Um, all right. Do you know any odd characters mm -hmm. around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Magrin? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find him. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats and nest, nests and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magran was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Anything else? Can you tell me about mm -hmm. the cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legends tell of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideouts. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south of the side of the cliffs. There are certainly a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? Uh, where can I sell my fish? We already know that. Uh, the other person, retired whaler. Are there any shipwrecks? The real wrecks around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Anything else? Have you heard about strange things in the area some time ago? Just after the last will was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gill Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Anything else? Okay then, what can you tell me about Ingfo? Ingfo used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago. And now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Nothing to see. Okay, we got another quest. So, by the way, you can uh, check those quests over here. Um, this is, we've already completed so many different quests. We need to do the rotting hunger eel, the rare fish, and the middle one, the big one, for just the relics in general. Okay, um, we're off to the races. We need to find a conger eel. Uh, oh, here's a aberrated fish. Probably not going to be a conger eel, but I definitely... Is this a new fish? Finding these... Uh, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to fit this. Uh, I really... I'm going to swap it out. Let's just get the, the mutated version. Oh, come on. I'm going to put it in here for the moment. What? I'm getting scammed. I actually missed that one. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Uh, scouring bass. Shapes swirl inside bulging clouded eyes, blinded by the light of the surface, but nothing perfectly suited, but perfectly suited to searching the depths. Okay, I love how they all just are so menacing. Okay, we're gonna sell our stuff here. No, 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 no. Those, uh, like, red things are always gonna be evil. And there's another boat around here as well. It's almost day, though. We're not gonna be able to, uh... We get on. I don't know if you get less here, because technically she is like a middleman, but I don't think you get less. I think that's just story-wise to explain it. Okay. We're gonna quickly head in here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I want to get uh, one of those conger eels. Oh, I remember. There's some real evil lurking here. No? This is not an eel. Am I making a great mistake going here? I think I am. Is that an eel? It's not an eel. Hi. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I remember. Oh, this is not the place. To what am I doing? <laughs> I 
I hit the wall. That was mine. <laughs> I just get a little nervous because I know what's lurking here. And I know it's not friendly. Oh god. Is it coming? I think it's fine. I think we're fine. Totally nothing to worry about. There's not a giant monster or whatever. Totally not. Okay, I think we I think we go. Okay, we're gonna miss the night fishing here, but that's alright. Uh that is very spooky. Is this an eel? Doesn't very much look like an eel, but I guess I'll just get these. Uh, Blackmouth Salmon. We got a tiny bit of damage, although repairing the- whoops. Repairing the damage costs so much. Especially when we have so little inventory. Every little- every little slot count. Counts. Uh, an aberrated one. Decaying Blackmouth. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still. It swims on. <laughs> I, just, I love these these little stories about each of the crazy fish. All right, well, it is the next day. We're still absolutely insane, which is still dangerous even out in the middle of the middle of the day. They could still get you. Let's go over here quickly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't steal my stuff. I'm I'm. You can't get me here. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbled swords. Ah. Oh, uh, greetings. I don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This, this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I have been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told. What is this? Uh, Something just came by. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfo. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingfo with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in prime, or we were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature. It dragged debris from the house down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's, it's a large willbone crest. It would mean the world to me. I will look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. All right, we're definitely going to find that. Uh, we already talked to you. Uh, I could have my storage. Actually, you could... Uh, this is such a good trick to know. Like, just putting stuff in your storage temporarily. So that on your way towards a trader... You can pick up additional fish that you then can immediately sell. Or dredge like this. There's actually multiple dredging stuff. We need the wood. That's very good. And I think the giant fish just went by. So we don't have to worry about that too much. I love these. There's just like enough horror every time to keep you on your toes. And know that you're not safe out in these parts. Because like, if only the characters would be talking in these weird tongues. Like it wouldn't seal... It wouldn't sell the horror vote very well. But the fact that there's actually creepy stuff going around means you you know something's up. Hope we get these big ones, the stonefish. Uh, I can carry two. Actually, I should probably carry the dredging stuff instead, but now I don't have inventory. That's okay. All right, we're going to quickly rush over to the traveling merchant. Hello. Uh, we also have lots of fish here. I would like to sell. So yeah, 45. That's I mean, that's pretty low compared to those flounders from before. But hey, we got 300. We are a little damaged. You can repair that though, right? Um, in the shipyard. You can. 30 bucks. It is what it is. Uh, and then store this. We needed how much for the? Oh god, my inventory. Um, how much did we need to buy the lights? Because the light would be kind of nice because then we can stay out longer during the night. Um, we could also upgrade, let's just see. I, I keep clicking the wrong one here. I would like to buy this one, which is 275. That's not too bad. I think I'll throw that on there just to have way better. Wait, why can't I install it? Wait, do I not have it? Wait, just me. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I don't know why I wasn't counting before. That's fine. Okay, so we got a way better light now, and it's night, so time to test it. Why is my light off? That's bad. 
Uh, we're also gonna quickly see what's in here. New fish, rock, crab. Still two days remaining on those. You can get fancier versions of this if you upgrade. Uh, decorator crab. Having covered it, what does it say? Having covered itself in detritus, this creature hardly resembles a crab at all. Um, and then another one of those. I don't know if these sell much. Some of the crabs, like the stuff you get in crab bots, is actually kind of like trash. <laughs> Doesn't sell for anything. Let's see. Um, it says 22 and 11. So yeah, 64 total. That is still still a nice amount of money. Okay, we can get that conger eel now. So let's go out in the dark. Even though we are a little insane. Oh, you can see one of those red glows. So in there, we get our next... Uh, our next uh, relic thingy. Oh, God. It's floating. I don't know if we're going to see the guy right away. But we have to keep on our toes. Is he going to come out here? Oh, yes! Oh, my God. Help, help. He's insane! Help! Go! Oh, you can't see me. I'm, I'm in the dark. I can't even see myself. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, he's crazy. I don't know where I'm going. Just freaking go anywhere that's not here. <laughs> oh, no. We're so crazy. All right. Maybe we shouldn't be out like this. Is he still after me? I need to turn on my lights, man. I'm going insane super fast. Okay, but he can see me, right? Is he still after me? I'm going to go the long way around. The long way. <laughs> I should probably not use haste as much as. Yeah, that is our good friend, the giant, <laughs> the giant fish monster they were talking about, um, who dragged the family crest along into the darkness. Ooh, we got a little note here. I don't think we have to be here at night, but we just want. We'll, we'll read that in a moment. This is not a congregate, yo, right? It's just gotta be a long fish like before. Oh, I can see something. I want to get that while well, he's he's probably going to come in here, though, and, and bang my ship. Is this a conger eel? This looks like it would be an eel. Oh, it's a gold one. No, I fucked it up. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about before. Uh, that is a conger eel. Okay, well, these have probably the most annoying ship I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit. Uh, we can only cure, like, a few of these. Like that. Oh, it's already depleted. Uh, I'm going to grab this real quick because I think this is important. Ah, uh, yep, look at that. <laughs> this, I remember this fucking thing, dude. I, I got here, and then the monster came around, and he attacked me, and then I just never came back to get this. Uh, there's also... It's day now, so I'm a little scared. I want to go behind the... Oh, no. I think I should go first. We're coming back here in a moment. We got the conger eel right now, so we need the conger eel to actually... Uh, and we got the fucking family crest, by the way. Just This is extremely important. <laughs> um, just, just in case you know. I don't know if you can drop this. If you if you can drop this, you can actually soft lock yourself. So I assume that's not possible. Uh, but I'm just going to quietly make my way over to the whaler guy. Right, that wasn't too big of a deal. We're totally safe now. Hello, sir. I already found it for you. You literally asked me like three hours ago. And I already got it. You better be super happy with me. Hello again. What can I do for you? Is this your family crest? You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother in Ingfil? Tell him. Tell him his brother is sorry. I would like to come home. All right, I will do just yet yeah, that. This is getting wholesome. Let's uh, put the conger eels in here. So the annoying part about this is that you need to time it. So basically, the fish will go fresh, stale, and then rotten. Uh, and then if you wait too long, they go into, like, rot, decaying mesh. So you need to wait just enough to have this be rotten, but not too long to have it be, <laughs> um, like, a, a little mush. So, yeah, we're gonna have to pay attention to that. And we're probably gonna mess it up a few times, but that's just, that's just, the uh, what happens basically every time. But hello, sir. We're bringing the family back together. This game is so fast-paced if you want it to be. It's so nice. You could just... Like, I like games that, that prioritize substance, especially as a content creator. Games that prioritize substance over filler is so good for <laughs> making videos and just having fun. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. So he did take it. I knew it. Your brother is sorry. Would you let him come home? Would you let him come home? Mm, I don't know if 
I was in a right state when he left. I love how these people are like grandparents or they're like grandpas and they've been like hell holding grudges for like, I don't know, 50 years or something. Okay, fine. You can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk, de risk detonating it. You still, you just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow fangs nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? All right, we're gonna do that immediately because this is gonna be very important. And I think it's good to at least get one because this will allow us to get a boat upgrade relatively quickly, which I think is gonna be fairly important if we want to survive the pill reach area. So it's good we had to, we, we made a quick stop here. Um, because not only does this give us uh, a new upgrade, the explosives, but also allows us to go to, oh no, 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 <laughs> I didn't know he could come out there. Alrighty, well, now you saw him in all his glory, the freaking giant monster. I did two damage to my ship. That sucks. Uh, a pile of loose debris in the gaps between the rocks. You can see what appears to be large white teeth. There's a long fuse trail lead uh, or trailing out from the side. This must be the location the whaler once cleared for a shortcut. Yes. You light the fuse. Oh, it doesn't explode my ship. The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Well, before we let the whaler know, we should quickly go back here. I don't know if this is gonna... I want to go back here, because I completely forgot about this. And when I did my, like, eight-hour-long mega playthrough the first time, I actually came back here way, way later. There's a little secret behind <laughs> this here waterfall. Uh, a rotten chest sits atop a pile of rub rubble at the back of the cave. Look inside. Uh, it's gonna be a bit scary though. Oh my god, you get this from that? That is the most important thing in the entire game. This right here. I hope it doesn't fall. If 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 we get crashed here. Oh, I need to have a missile for this? Okay. So this is one of the special fish uh, that the lady was talking about, right? The ore fish. So now we need to get the absolute fuck out of here because we just picked up one of the most important things in the entire game that we immediately need to bring to safety. Uh, so we don't accidentally drop it overboard. Go, 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 go. It's getting late as well. Don't dare attack me right now. I'm going to become the Joker. Uh, I'm going to go to the traveling merchant immediately. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't know. It took me so long to find one of these on my first playthrough. It's so important. You can find them everywhere. I was just really bad at the game. All right, here we go. Now, with that, I think we need to do more of the upgrades first than the... Uh, shipyard, if I remember. Or, no, in the... Why do I always forget? Uh, floating dock here. We need this, which we have enough money, so we might as well upgrade that. And then this one as well. We need two. We have two, and it's only 95, which means we can upgrade that as well. So now we got the whole first row done, which means we can now get the tier two hull upgrades, which will add... Uh, five new cargo spaces and gives you a lot of extra stuff. But for this, you need refined metal, which is like the defining thing. So the fact that we already got that right here is absolutely massive. We already got all the cloth. We need four lumber, and that's basically all. And then we already have the full upgrade. These are stale now, so they're going to get go rotten soon. So we need to keep an eye out for this. Uh, let's put this in the cargo as well. And we probably don't have enough money to repair, but maybe if we take the... Uh, the crabs here. Let's see. Take all. I don't know if this is gonna be enough money. I think it should be. Because we need, like, 75 to repair two hole slots, right? Um. Uh, shipyard. We need a 60 bucks, but I should sell my fish. So you can take all of that. Yes, let's go. You have enough. Repair, we're totally fine. Now we can take a hit again, because if you take too many hits, obviously you get destroyed and your ship dies, but um, that's not a problem. So we can tell him that he can come back now, right? Because we did, or we should talk to you first, because we did your task. You're happy with us? Oh no, there's another one of those ships out there. Hi, sir. Uh, you've done it. You've cleared the blast. I've mean, heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Let's go. We're bringing the family together. We're wholesome. There's so much dredging around here that we should do as well. 
just want to get the wood mostly so we can upgrade whole a whole slot number one uh and we should probably get some fish as well because we need money for that like 500 bucks or something fish stock high here there we go look at that i don't know how much those sell for but should be good and now you we just gotta we're freaking <laughs> a messenger man go back and forth back and forth hello sir hello again what can i do for you your brother forgives you He's found a place. Found a place for you to stay. He does. That's a huge weight. Weight off my chest. One so old as I. Ha One so old, I hardly remember it was there. Right. Well, I'm packed and ready to go. That's oh fuck. Well, uh, goodbye, fish. <laughs> You're can you go sideways? You don't care. Can you be upside down? <laughs> You'll just kind of fit in sideways, right? Just uh, lay next to the fish over there. You're also the same size as like two fish. You must have shrunk quite a bit. All right, well, anyway, it's uh, oh God, there's a big rock. The one that's not actually there. How is it hitting me? It's not real. There's, there's so many, because when I played first, I was being pretty careful. I wasn't staying out at night with my high sanity all too much, but that's like the fun part because you get all kinds of crazy interactions to happen. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother. You're home. I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the docks. One of them pauses for a moment and then turn back to you. Oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing. I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yard. Anytime. Whaling yard. Here. This, is, this one is on the house. Let's go. I hope you can put them to good use wherever you find cause for it. Oh my god, I can buy these? So yeah, you can uh, buy explosives. We can buy explosives now, which is huge because that means all the We haven't really seen much of the debris, but first of all, that means we can go over there. We have Do we have the inventory slot for this? We should first sell before we go there. Uh, so thanks for listening to your cargo, you piece of garbage. We need to sell this ASAP. Also, the eel. No, the eel might be robbed now. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I, did I mess it up? It should be just perfect now. Uh, let's first sell. <sighs> Sell them all. Luckily, only one was infected. My storage? It is rotting! Okay, can we get over... I should have sold one of these. Why did I let both of them rot? Um, we sh if we can get there in time, but it might get... It might become pulp by the time we get back there. Please. I just want to do this quest, man. Such a silly quest. Having to time this. Let's see. Did I do it in time? I have for you. Info yeah. residence. Here's the cage runner! Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Perfect. This will do wonderful. I can offer you a small sum in thanks. 150. Safe travels. Okay, let's go. Uh, we've done it. We did waste one of them, but that's all right. So we got ourselves um, got ourselves a bit of extra money. And we have read every single book. Okay, what pursuit are we looking for? We literally did all of them here. However, before we go, we got something very important to do. I should probably be a little careful because I'm going insane. Uh, I should definitely try and catch a few more dredging stuff here. So we, if we can get like four wood here, so we can upgrade our ship to the max and then immediately go to... I know I said we would immediately go to Pill Reach. I thought I could just go there right away, but I forgot that the early game is so fun. I'm just having fun. I want to do this first. Um, <laughs> as to not like skip the uh, skip the whole story and lose, lose sight of what's going on here. A pile of loose debris. It could be cleared to make a shortcut. Use explosives. Boom. Let's go. The debris crumbles away. And now, first of all, we get some... Ma oh, we get special loot. This is very deep. What's it gonna be? It seems like fishing games are the most fun. Like, games involving water. I don't know what it is with water for me. It just is super fun. Like, Dave the Diver, Dredge. These are, like, some of my, my favorite games to play this year. Uh, and there it is. Look at that. A rusted music box. A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side. It emits a low rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. Okay, well, we found another special relic that we can bring to the collector. We really don't want to lose this, though. Uh, so I think... Wait, wasn't there storage here? I think there was storage here. I'm just going to immediately throw it in my storage. Has to not lose it. Yes. Okay, put this in here. We could sell this, but I'm just going to let it rot away. It's all right. Okay, so let's take a little trip around here because it's still early in the day. That's metal. We don't need much metal. Uh, we mostly want... Oh, no, is the monster going to be here? I think if we go a little further out, we should be okay. There's also more fish here that we haven't gotten yet. 
This one we definitely got a whole lot of. Um, out there, what is that? That is an oceanic perch. Oh god. He's going by. He's going by on that side, I think. Which means we don't have to worry. I should not turn off my light. Yeah, there's a little, little island. And there is special dredging stuff here as well. I wonder what this is. I don't remember. What is that? Is this a photo? Is this for the photographer? Looks like a piece of a photo. Pirate flag? A tattered black flag with a skull and crossbones. The fabric is extremely old and worn. There must be something for a quest. I'm going to hold on to that. Don't sell it just yet, but I want to see what's over here. You can see all the uh, pirate ships here. Oh, there's, there's a special fish. We already got one of these, but I think there might be multiples. You can check in the book. Oh, no, this one. Ah, uh, <laughs> Gelatin of stonefish, flesh and skills intent on shuffling away from a creature struggling to maintain its mortal form. Alright, we're just gonna leave now. It's getting later and later, which is when the scary stuff comes out. Oh, you can hear him. You can hear him screaming in the distance. If we can get three here, this would be absolutely insane. Uh, is he coming? He's not coming. It was like extremely close though. It's probably gonna be empty already. But with all these shipwrecks here, there should be enough. Yes, let's go. You get three. Uh, I think he's gonna hit me. I think I'm fucked. Ah! Oh my god! No, oh, yeah, fuck me. All right, lumber lost over. <laughs> Dude, why would you come to me, sir? I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little goober. All right, well, fuck me. What's out here? <laughs> Capsite. You stand in the center of a capsite. There's fire. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out in the wind. Uh, blowing out with the wind. Take a closer look at the campfire. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the, of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out from the ashes. Kick the ashes! You kick the ashes. Your foot, hit, foot hits something hard. At the bottom of the pile, you brush the remnants aside. We get a special thing. What do you want to do? To look for footprints? You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been scratched, sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with the hasty sweep of a foot. What do you want to do? It's so, like they say no footprints, but then he says there was footprints. I don't understand. What do you want to do? Check the makeshift tent. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt where someone slept. All right, well, we found a research part and there's been someone here. I don't know what they've they were up to though. Okay, we're a little less insane now. Uh, luckily, we didn't lose the prior ship there. We can still fit one more lumber here. I feel like there would be a way for us to fit more. Let's see if I put this like that. No, I think I, yeah, 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 we can fit two. Let's go. Okay, so if we can get two here, this would be perfect. But we have to make it back alive as well. Um, there's ships here. You got any lumber in these ships? In these here ships? I don't know if that guy comes back. He probably does. Uh, I'm gonna go insane if I reset. Oh, there's something glistening. It's one of it's some of these. Wait, if we go insane, we can talk to these and learn about the secrets. No, 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 no. That doesn't damage me, luckily. Uh, that's more... Why is there so much metal around here? Where's your lumber, dude? I'm scared. I'm scared of the giant fish man. Alright, I should probably just go back. <laughs> I think this place is a little too scary. Let's quickly drop off our lumber we have now so we don't lose more. Oh, well, maybe. Uh... Ah! There's a special conquer eel, but I can't stay here. Fuck me, dude. This guy is crazy. I forgot how dangerous it is, it is here. Okay, let's just freaking go. Oh, no. Oh, God. I almost hit the wall there. Uh, we have a shortcut, right, though. Uh, we need to go fast. You can see the lighthouse from here. That's definitely not actually this close, though. My eyes are playing for me. Do not find me. Okay, I think we're safe. We can't get here, right? If I'm literally at the ship at the shipyard here, you shouldn't be attacking me. All right, this place is not very friendly. <laughs> this place is evil. Wait, right, let's sell the the one fish we got. The 44. It's like twice the price of a normal fish, and then immediately stock this so we don't lose it. Whatever it is. Okay, we got two lumber. Um. For this thing here. We just need two more. And then, can I repair 
my ship repair 60. We still got 240. I should also put this stuff away. We're, at, we're getting so many upgrades so quick. This is going super fast. Uh, we get four uh, research part as well. Do we want to upgrade anything? We could get a net. It's pretty good to just get a bunch of extra fish. Uh, but And we have the extra space. So you know what? I'm going to upgrade this. I don't think I have enough space for that. Uh, let's see. Do we? Uh, we have this. And then this is why I kept this rod here. This one catches coastal. This catches both, but we can just fit this one. I mean, we might as well fit it right now. Fit that one here. Although it's just for extra fishing speed, right? You know what? Extra fishing speed is kind of pointless. I'd rather have the space to put actual fish. Uh, now we can buy a better net here, which is 300 bucks. So if we take the stuff from here, I don't know why it's so my light turned off. Um, if we take this stuff, we might have enough. I should also pick up the whole thing. I have enough space for this. I might have to. If I repair those, I probably won't have enough money for the thing. I mean, crab pots are. If you place them right at the place you can sell fish, they're kind of useful. They give you a little bit of bonus. You have 90 extra. Wait, that's enough, right? Uh, how much is it to repair this? Uh, it costs. Wait, Art of Silver Tongue? She takes a book from a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Flicking through it, you see page corners turned. And. In in and handwritten notes in the margins okay we have an extra book uh repairing 45 that's just not enough i'm gonna buy this first so we buy this uh oh, I put it in there. Um, we put this here so now we don't have the extra bonus from this but we will be able to catch fish just like so basically the way this works is you can throw it out and then it'll automatically catch fish for you just all the time which is super super useful it's basically just free money. It's a huge investment early on. And then I would like to put one of these away, I guess, and then repair the other two. And then throw them out again. Troll net is now a new ability, which I think is just a passive thing. Uh, there's only few here. I'm assuming it's because it's too deep. Yeah, there. And then we throw this out. And now we just get fish. I think we can see in the net. Yeah, net. Here, look at all this stuff. So literally, we'll just fill this slowly with fish, which is absolutely insane. Now you do have to repair it every now and then. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna quickly go back to the to, to behind the thing. Oh, what's in the middle here? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's super. We need to just get a few fish so we can buy more explosives, uh, and we can get more upgrades. Oh, this is a new fish. It is a wreck fish. I see. Uh, why can't I carry this? Oh. Um. Huh? Am I stupid or does that fit there? <laughs> why does... Oh, it's a 4x4. Four four. I thought it was a... I thought it was a 4x1. I understand. I understand my, my, my mistake. I can only have two of these. They're absolutely massive. Uh, and then I would like to get at least one more if this guy permits me. Without coming over here to blast my ass. And get these. I love this shape. This is my favorite shape in the game for some reason. Because it just feels really satisfying when you slot them in correctly. Um, don't, uh, I don't think I can fit another one. Oh, that's fine. Um, maybe if I move the big fish around. With this, we should have enough. I didn't, it already caught one. I didn't do anything. It did. Yeah, look at that. You basically just slowly catch more fish. So let's sell everything. You get 155. I didn't even do anything. Okay, nice. We're getting there. Uh, how much do we need for this? Does it say that? Um, 500 bucks. Okay, that's totally easy. I want to spend this money over here on the wheel stuff, on the wheel bombs, so we can open tiger mackerel. Oh, yeah, there's fish that are exclusive to the fish net as well. I remember that was uh, kind of annoying sometimes. Should we just have to go in circles to find them? Uh, I would like to purchase one, two, three. Just get them all, honestly. Four. And just blow away anything we can see. Uh, especially over here. I saw... I think there's something really rare behind this, if I remember. Like, what, if you actually, like, understand how the game works, this... You can get upgrades so quickly. Use explosives. Behind here, I think we're gonna find another one of those. Oh god. Freaking hit it. 
Wretched, yeah, look at that. It's another refined metal, which means the ne I think for the next upgrade we need more than just one, though. So it's good to have this. And I will even explode my way through here just to have another, like, shortcut, I guess. To get out of here if the monster comes by. We need to immediately go back, though. We can't risk losing this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly drop this off and then head back out again. Oh, wait a minute! There's a research part here! Look at that. I think that's that's just a rare thing you can find in Rex. Which is really nice. Beautiful. I thought that was gonna be metal. Uh, don't explode me. I'm a friend. I'm a friend to the sea, even though I guess I fish everything. I'd oh. like to sell... Just, just look at that! So like 28 bucks, just from doing nothing. Just from sailing around. Little upgrades like that. Or, just, or little bits of money like that are very nice. Put this away, put this away for now. Uh, so yeah, this one rotted away, which is fine. Uh, we didn't need that anyway. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so now I'm gonna go all the way to the back. I am just gonna wait for the wait for the morning, so it's a little bit safer and we can see the, the monster. Or let's wait until this point. So now by the time we head out, it's gonna be day. And then we're just gonna take the long way round. Ooh, there's special fish. Can I get this before the day? I think these are during the day as well, so I don't have to worry too much. Yeah. Oh, it's another one of those, but those are always more valuable. Uh, wait, there's another one? It's oh, no, it's not. And these are actually huge abundance. <laughs> Even when it says low, it just never stops. Oh, wait, I need to do this. Boom. Alrighty, well, I guess we're going back immediately. This is the thing, early game. This is why I want to get the upgrade, why I want to prioritize the upgrade rather than just fishing. Because in the early game, you're spending a lot of time going back and forth. Um, because your inventory is so damn stinky. Mm. Uh, 180 though. I mean, we need 500 anyway, so it's worth it. All right, I'm just gonna rush to the back. There's some stuff here. I see lumber as well. Nice. I'll take all of this. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Let's go. Alrighty, I'm out of here. I don't want to die. Nice try explosion. Can't get me. A uh, little extra fish there at the end. Okay, so with this, if we, we're just gonna put it in here. So it's stocked up. And then we just need to collect 500 cash, which should be easy peasy, especially if we just sell um, sell all our trinkets right now, because we've got quite a few trinkets. Uh, let's try. You know what? Why don't we go do that? We have already gotten quite a few fish here. Yeah, look at all these special trinkets that we got. If we sell all of that, uh, we might be able to get enough. Uh, and I think we, we can obviously come back here for more dredging, but I think I'm going to make my way back to the uh, collector so we can hand in this new relic and see what he has to say about it. And there was also, wait a minute, while we're out here in the night, which might not be a good idea, I see something over there because they said something about a small island, right? Where there was a photographer, which is gonna lead us to the new uh, quest area. Maybe it's this over here. We also, we, I need to read that one note that I got. I, mean, I didn't read that yet. This oceanic perch. Looks very big. I don't think I can carry that. What is this? It's another one of these. This is definitely new. I don't remember this at all. This has got to be something with the photographer here. Yeah, it's an Ouroboros flag. Interesting. Is there any little thing here? There is. It's a boat. Hi. This is the old ship. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hole. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one is a huge breach on one side. You're tied up along the old wreck. Uh, look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Look in the cupboards and drawers. The cupboards have been completely methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. You're in the cabin. Try the loose fo floorboards. There aren't even any floorboards left. Uh, check the overhead electrical compartment. The equipment is all still there, though surely exposed to the elements. Has fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. Okay. Check the cargo. We poke through the cargo. We get a weak valve engine. Alrighty then. Uh, I guess I'll put that in storage, even though I don't have a storage here. We got a basic fishing pole, which could give you... Postal? I guess I could install that there, but I'm not gonna because it just takes more inventory and then a metal scrap and everything else is just fucked up. Alrighty, uh, let's read these because we haven't been reading. We should read this one book of the Silver Tongue and we should read the messages. We have, uh, this was the fisherman's note. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken. Fog core. Five equals rise. 
five relics, maybe? He knows. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. So we already got five out of 12 notes, by the way. We're almost halfway through the, through the notes. Uh, 9th of September, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I am being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is ex is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. Alrighty, uh, and that led to him finding relics and going insane, maybe? Who knows? Alright, um, where is this island? So this is this island. One of these, maybe? I think it's gonna be one of that, but I wanna also check out- Can I set a waypoint? That's not a thing in this game. Wait, there's a little town over there. I wanna check this first. Um, is this a new area? Well, this might be what they were talking about. Unless- I don't- I don't think I recognize this. Oh god. Don't you dare! I think this comes back and forth. We need to land as quickly as possible. Coming back. Don't you dare! You can't get me. I'm, I'm in port. Yes, there's the photographer! Let's go! Uh, expedition site photographer! Here we go, photographer! <clears throat> Hello, sorry. Would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. You move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in exasperation and mutters to herself. No, this simply won't do. What's the matter? The angle of this lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this. And the others, I fear they were lost overboard. She sighs again and looks off to the west. I was sailing from Stellar Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands. And then... I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were able to retrieve the lenses for me, ah, uh, let me see. She rummages through the what belong few belongings survived the trip. I have a spare camera here that I won't need. You're welcome to it if you can find those lenses. Only took us two hours to find the uh, DLC, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. Let's go. Um, wait, where? You marked it on my map? Okay, well, we're going over there. Immediately, I need to lose some sanity though. Is there something around here? Remember, you need to not. This is one of the things I'm gonna. I mean, obviously, I know I've played the game through before, so I might accidentally spoil some things. But if there's one thing that I think should be spoiled for you, because it's kind of bullshit! Okay. <laughs> Turns out I was a little too insane, but it, oh my god, I didn't lose these. this though. That would have been a disaster. I'm pretty sure this is what she wants though, no? Alright, at least it's gotta be involved in some quests, since it's special. But there's these guys around, which we're maybe gonna find on this island. They're like, uh, these cultist guys, and you do not want to talk to them until you're, like, ready to do a specific quest for them. Because you need to, like, get specific fish. And if you don't get those fish in time, they will die. So that's, like, the one thing that I really wish I knew before I started playing. Um, my first playthrough. Because I fucked up all those quests, basically. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. Inspect the symbols. The symbols span the breadth of the camp. Twisting the way this way and that, some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trills off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the last symbol more closely. A glint of metal shines up through the sand. A sapphire ring. Let's go. You take it for yourself. Fresh footprints. Can I can I follow the footprints? Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide. Perhaps indicated they were left by a man, but you don't know how don't know much about footprints. Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. Um, we're gonna go to where she wants us to go, which is also on the way. Uh, this is Stellar Basin, which is like the next area we should go. Oh, no. Oh, my God, what is this? That is absolutely terrifying. They added new terrors to this game, dude. I'm fogged. Oh, I'm literally dead. Jesus! Alright, well that happened. They made the game way harder. <laughs> Unless, I don't know. Unless I'm just worse now. Uh, did I get the stuff from here? I did get the sapphire ring from here. Alrighty, uh, note to self. Be careful. We need to not, uh, use the... Uh, use haste too much. Because haste makes me go crazy. I want to lose some sanity here. Yeah, you can even get those, like, crazy fish when you're not even in red sanity. It's kind of wild. 
Uh, is there anything around here? You marked an X right there. Yeah, I can only take like one more hit and then I'm dead. There's a chest. A curious looking chest. We can look inside. Take a small sheet of paper or a treasure chest and a doubloon. Is that still a thing on TikTok? I don't use TikTok myself, but I know there was like a TikTok thing where people would give out the balloons or something stupid. There's another chest. A collection of cases washed up against the shore. Look for valuables. Ah, photography equipment. There we go. That's what we need. We're going to bring that back to the lady and hopefully survive in the process. Hello there. What's the sound? You hear that? That was freaking terrifying. I don't know what that was, but it sounded <laughs> very large. I love that. I was so obsessed with, um, what was the time? There, I don't know if they're still making new videos or if they're still recording new creepy sounds. Uh, but there was this, like, there were these, like, videos on YouTube that are, like, exploring creepy sounds heard in the deep ocean. I don't know if they were even real. Maybe they were fake, but... It was like so intriguing to me what could be out there still because we know very little about the deep uh parts of the oceans maybe there are some very large creatures in there who knows you have the lenses oh i do hope they've not been damaged by the seawater she takes the case from you and inspect each lens carefully you seem mostly unharmed nothing that some careful polishing can remedy at least as promised you should take my spare camera the lens is nothing special but it should allow you to capture some good shots if you wanted some advice on locating wildlife to photo a photograph just say the word tell me tell me about large fish i suspect you're more knowledgeable in this particular area than i am there are a few shark species around most notable the huge will shark they tend to prefer the warmer waters around stellar basin they're completely harmless as i'm sure you know but do be careful around them you wouldn't want your propellers causing them any injuries anything else tell me about mammals well still relatively scarce i believe a few cetaceans um I believe a few cetaceans, that's whales and such, can be found in the deeper waters around here. Mm. You might be lucky enough to spot a pod of bottlenose dolphins or killer whales that have been known to swim alongside boats. As for the larger whales, I've heard humpback and sperm whales and even the odd blue whale have been sighted in the area. Mm. It doesn't surprise me to hear that rumors that their numbers have dwindled. What with Ingfell's whaling endeavors, exactly. Hopeful, their po hopefully their populations will recover in time. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Let's go. Tell me about mm -hmm. birds. You'll hear quite a wide variety of bird song from the islands, though I suspect they're all too small to spot from your boat. There's sure to be a few larger species, gulls and ravens loitering around. The more active docks look around, loitering around the more active docks looking for morsels or morsels of food. Mm -hmm. The ruins in Devil's Spine host a few breeding pairs of seahawks. You're bound to hear them calling to each other, though they're quite elusive. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's so many things. Mm -hmm. Raptiles, I'm glad you asked. Not many consider raptiles when they think of the ocean. Loggerhead turtles are a common sight in the temperate waters around the Marrows and Gale Cliffs, though they can be hard to spot mm -hmm. in the water. When it comes to larger raptiles, they don't get any bigger than saltwater crocodiles. The mangroves of Twisted Strand are the perfect environment mm -hmm. for them. Anything else? Okay, so we need to... These are basically in every area. There's new photos? Wait, this is super cool. Um, let's see. I should probably... I haven't really been sleeping at all. I should probably at least sleep a tiny bit to get rid of this. Yes. Um, do I have a new thing now? I got think photos. Oh, you can take screenshots. And it pauses the game. So if you see something cool, this is perfect for me, dude. I love taking screenshots in games. But the fact that it pauses, so if you get something cool to happen, you can just... This is... <laughs> damn heaven. Okay. Well, that's super, super cool. Okay, so we found that lady, which is totally new. I know she was not in the game before. I wonder if we're going to see her down here. Uh, this is where we should go. But first of all, we really, really, really need to go over to Blackstone Isle to deliver the new relic. What the heck is that? Look at these fish. Wait, I can catch this. I don't think this is probably going to be oceanic. Yeah, I mean, abyssal even. Look at this. Special colors. Oh, there's the guy. Uh, well, we're almost already here. I don't for really remember what upgrade we get here, but it's probably going to be good. Oh, no. Don't turn off my light. I need that. Let's see if someone honks back. No one? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Love that little detail. Okay. Um... What do you say? I have a storage here, right? Yes, we do. I have this for you. Which 
Master will be very happy to know. One of the relics. Oh, you've returned! I wasn't sure where you were coming back. You drag the massive, massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribber, ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown high by a wave. He suddenly closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some records. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Okay, so that's the next one. Um, what are you doing with these relics? Why? Collecting them, of course. An investment for times to come. Anything else? Why can't you search for these relics yourself? The ocean no longer wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, you will be my surrogate. Anything else? Uh, take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother me with common clutter. I heard that the traitor in Little Marrows deals with such trivialities. All right, then. All right, sir. All right, anyway, uh, we get a new upgrade, which I think is this one right here. Manifest. Teleport yourself back to where it all began. So this allows you to really quick... It's super useful. Uh, it allows you to really quickly return to this area right here. So if you have a new relic, you can literally just teleport to here immediately. Now, I think it does make you go absolutely, completely insane. Um, but that's, that's not, you can just sleep a little bit and it'll get, get rid of that. All right, I'm gonna sell this stuff and hopefully this will give us enough money to buy the upgrade. Uh, my storage, put this away. I don't know if... I don't think I should sell these. These were, like, special relics. I'm just gonna put those in here for now. I don't want to accidentally get rid of something that's gonna be important to the story later, but we have a lot of this. This should be at least a few hundred, right? 350, which is exactly what we need, because we need 500, so now we're gonna... Well, I guess we want a little more than that, um, because we also need to repair. So let's get you a few fish here, and then head back to the little marrow and get those upgrades. Oh, what the hell? I got one of the crazy ones. Brood squid, a tentacle sprout from a glowing core inside a gelin gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Very creepy fish. Whoa, look at that. Wait, that's crazy. It's like a pirate ship, dude. I mean, it's obviously going to be another one of those evil ships. That's really cool. They changed the looks on some of those. I don't remember seeing those guys. I'm assuming they were there, though. All right, well, we got uh, enough probably to purchase the upgrade. I'm just going to leave that guy alone. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. Oh, I forgot to pick up my uh, crab pots. Not that it's really that important because they only give a little bit of extra money. Uh, but if we're not coming, I guess we're going through Gil Cliffs uh, at some point. The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? It was fine. Maybe this time, you need to be more careful. Even you, with all of your experience, cannot truly know the ocean. Nobody can. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Alrighty. Um, I would like to sell you all the 200. I forgot how much money you get for the... Okay, so you do get way more money from selling stuff to you. There's no way. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, well, we got 700 bucks. I'm gonna... Uh, go to shipwright first to repair. Okay, that was extremely expensive repair. And then upgrade the new hull. So let's see. This is the hull right now. We upgrade, which makes us both look different. Look at that. The little boat is different now. And will give us more additional storage, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is rotated, so it's along the sides here. And now this is way better, which means we can fit that peculiar engine back in. Um... So we have even more speed. 62 knots now. Wait, holy shit. That's so fast. Wait, how is that so... Is that just because we also upgraded the, the boat? That's super cool. Okay, and we already have quite a bit for next upgrades. What do I want? I want cargo spaces. Yes, please. We have this, this. Oh my god, just one more wood and we can already get more cargo spaces. It is very expensive. Um, we also have a lot of... Um, Research parts. What's the next thing? So we're gonna go to is there, Oh the abyssal thing. Yes, we need this later um, But that's when we go to stellar base and we could get an upgraded engine 52 
I guess we could... Oh, no, this costs a lot. I mean, I think you need both of these. Oh, yeah, you can get these tiny ones. They're super expensive, but they're, like, the most efficient way to make use of your... I think they are, because they're, like, almost 10 per per slot, which is, like, super efficient. Okay, anyway, um, we're good. We are fully upgraded. We got more inventory spaces now, which is amazing. Uh, we have new pursuits. We solved more quests. We're already, like... I don't know. I, we're going super fast through this game. Obviously, there's a lot of new areas now as well. Uh, we're gonna go... Uh, I really want to check out back here, but I think we're gonna go through Tr Stellar Basin to get over there. We could also just, like... Because we really need some upgrades before... <laughs> like, if, the, if it's truly as scary as the developer said that area is, then I don't want to go there uh, without being prepared. Oh, do we have... Uh, wait a minute. While we're here... We should do a, a quick little something. I think we have one of those whale explosives in our thing here. Uh, because there's a few rocks over there that you can see uh, that we obviously couldn't break before. But now that we have this, we can. Which I do have one more. And I think you can buy these. You don't just have to go back to Dill Clips or Dill Clips, Gill Clips to buy those. Um, let's quickly explode this thing right here. And I guess we. I mean, we might as well pick these guys up. Wait, this is. Where have we before? Yeah. Special fish. I mean, these are expensive as hell, especially if you sell it here. So I do think there's some slight markup. Um, I guess that gives you more incentive to use your special ability to return to this place, right? Uh, can I fit one more in here? I don't think I can, but that's already fine. Uh, oh god, we need some inventory space anyway to fit this item. We're gonna get up here. And we need to see if we can get one lumber. Somewhere around here. I feel like we could find that. Can I break this? I don't think I can break that. I can only break it from the other side. Oh, look at that, by the way. The skeleton of uh, <laughs> a very large fish. That's for sure. That's so cool. Okay, break this. Yes. Kaboom. And then get another one of these, which I think we're gonna need two for the next upgrade. So then we already have enough to get the next major upgrade. But we're gonna need to do a whole lot of dredging before we can actually purchase that. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure you can lose these, which is kind of scammy. Uh, can we carry one lumber? We only need one, right? So let's see if we can quickly get one of those. Oh, look at that. There's a swordfish right there. And a ship. Oh, no. What? Oh, my God! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Take pictures! Take pictures! Is that what I need? Take a photo? How do I take a photo? Zoom in with the... Oh, this is cool. And then take a photo. It takes an actual screenshot. Wait, that's sick. Uh, toggle overlay? Oh, so you can see it better like that. I'm assuming that's not in the picture, right? In the screenshot. Um, now, can I... Are they gonna jump out? Am I gonna get anything from this? Wait, I wanna follow you guys. Dude, these things are massive! That's so cool. <laughs> let's get a let's get a little action screenshot in here with the boat as well. That's so cool. Get a little close. Oh, these are killer whales. Yes, that's a cool shot. <laughs> There's uh, my my screenshot collection is getting new new things in there. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm assuming this is just for you. Just for your own collection. It's like the perfect game for it. It's the perfect game to... Like, you don't really need a reward. The The thing in itself is a reward. So there's exactly what I needed around here. Uh, I'm going slowly insane, though. I think I should leave this ASAP. But I kind of want to get... I don't really... I, I'm going to get as much as I can carry here, which is probably only two. And then just drop one. No, oh, it's one more. All right, we dropped this one. Because logs are by far the hardest to get resource for us. I mean, cloth, I remember, was also kind of, kind of hard sometimes. Okay, uh, well, there's more stuff around here. But we need to go before that. Yes, okay. Um. Go, 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 go. You can hear it. Why is the screen flickering? Are you guys seeing this? Or is this just for me? I think that was just for me. Uh, I need to go ASAP. So many evils on the loose. Is it behind me? I think it is behind me. Oh god. Yes, go! No! Oh my god. Don't look. Don't look. It's only gonna make it worse. Uh, there's this! Wait, can I stop at this? 
Uh, the stone trembles before you, so you can see it's now red, right? Place your hand on the stone. A sudden, sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The town of Greater Marrow burns. The lighthouse lights collapse, its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky behind a cyclone that drains the world. So it gives you little, I don't know what, maybe sights into the future, maybe sights of a... Of a future that could be, maybe sides of the past, but yeah, very just ominous stuff, that's for sure. Alright, we're safe in here, mostly at least. That's why it's at least a little bit advice to stay in this area. I don't remember running into this many dangerous things on my playthrough. I remember it being mostly just kind of chill. So I like that they increase the frequency of these stuff. Okay, I need to sell you all these. Which is... Oh, maybe I just sold a bunch of... Yeah, look at this. This is also quite a bit of money. So all of that. Because it sells automatically this as well. We still have a day remaining. We haven't even repaired... Oh, maybe we did repair them. Um, it automatically repairs that, I think, when you click over here, of course. Uh. Oh, yeah. That's that's what costs... That's why it costs so much uh, last time. Okay. Well, now we can do this. More storage space. Well, we can't do it yet. We need a little bit more money, but that's very important. And then I would like a... This, sure. We don't, we still have cloth, but now we need more metal. And then we can take, okay, so metal, two, three metals. Uh, three metal and one lumber is all we need for the next upgrade. And then obviously we need the next whole upgrade. Okay, cool. I uh, should probably sleep a little bit to not go too crazy. And then it's time to go down again. So we can go uh, closer to the... Uh, closer to the special area. Man, I love this game. It's so damn fun. <laughs> it's just, especially now, knowing there's like even more stuff to do. Oh, I'll take this cloth. I'll just take as much of the uh, dredgeable stuff here that I can. I'm gonna quickly speed run that though. Uh, just get all of the stuff. Alrighty, well, that's all we could find. Look at that. I just found another one of these rings. And I forgot to put this back, but that's okay. So, three. Scrap metal, two cloth, and another silver trinket as well. Let's uh, quickly drop this off before that giant fish can find us. Oh no. Dude, being back here sucks. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you drop any of my stuff. Oh god, oh my. Everything is out to get me. No, 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 sir. Please, no. I'm turbo insane. All right, well, <laughs> this is a little dicey every time, but we did it. Home sweet home. Uh, we're already in day 19, by the way. I didn't even realize that. Time's been flying. Uh, I would like to sell you my fish to fish for my net. Um, I would like to repair my net. And then put this in. Not that one. This one needed to. Yes, let's go. So that one's done. We could upgrade that. But I think I want to get the storage slots first. And then one here. And the rest just goes in storage. Uh, this one. All of that. Uh, I don't think we should. Oh, this is worse than we already have. All right, good stuff. Uh, let's sleep. So we're not insane. It's good. And then I think I got all the wreckage around here in this area. Uh, maybe around the back of Little Marrow there might be a little more. I got so much stuff. I just did a little trip around the backside here of Little Marrow and got two lumber, three scrap metal, as well as some cloth. So literally everything we need. Uh, put it, this one's already full. Dude, this is crazy. Oh yeah, so we did need one more lumber. Um, I'm just gonna save that. And then for this, we need three cloth, two refined metal, one scrap, four lumber. So we're still gonna need a whole lot more lumber. Uh, but in terms of cloth, we're good. In terms of this, we need a, one more, I think. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything we can get around here. I just did a whole trip around this area. So now it is time to go back to Stellar Basin, get another relic as well, maybe take some more photos and stuff. Whoa, look at that! Wait, what the hell? I was just... I was just going to Stellar Basin. That's so pretty. Man, is that the... Is that the Pill Reach? It's a freaking... Aurora Borealis. Whoa! This is crazy. That's amazing. That is exactly where it should be. So maybe it is there. I think we're gonna at least quickly take a detour here and see what's, what's 
What's this colorful thing here? What is the evil music? It's another one of these flags, and this is a big freaking steamship. I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. Look at that. It's huge. It's the Titanic, dude. <laughs> Let's uh, get one of these as well. We need money after all. Oh, our net is broken. Wait, what? Oh, the net is broken. Oh, we're gonna have to repair that. A uh, gold star. So don't click any of these. You just want to click the gold one, and it instantly catches. It's a barracuda that is a little bigger than I signed up for. Uh, can I fit that without ditching this? I don't think I can. But I'll gladly ditch this over a gold one that must be better. I can get another one because these fit now. You can hear the rumbling in the distance because there's some evil thing lurking. Nice. All right, good stuff. Uh, day 20 already, man. This, this whole town. I don't know if there's even anyone here. It's very abandoned. There's more lumber that I can't carry. Lumber and cloth. There is a place. This is also a place. Can I stop here? I can explode that, but I don't have a, a bomb with me right now. Is there even a place I could dock? Oh, yeah, this. The stone hums cry. Okay, well, we're not insane enough to talk to this. I'm kind of curious what that is going to tell me. Can you see this? Yes, you can. Look at that. <laughs> you see it? Can I be here? I'm so scared, dude. You can see the giant... I don't know what it is, but there's massive tentacles here. I don't want to make you too angry. Or I don't want to make you angry at all, honestly. All right, I'm not gonna... You can see the red thing in the middle. That's the, the relic. I'm pretty sure you could... Cheese that, right? You could just... Oh, wait, I, I did... I, my net isn't broken. I wonder if you could, like, rush on top of it and get it before you get killed by the giant creature. That would be an interesting speedrun strat. You probably can. I assume the speedruns of this game are so damn fast. Like, the tutorial probably takes the longest time, and then after that you can, like, get the relics so damn quickly. Uh, fish market, I have for you $200 almost there. Almost can get my, my upgrade. Or no, wait, it was only 300 Never mind. We can get it. Put this in there, put this in there. We got three of those. I'm assuming someone is going to ask about those in the future. All right, I would like to upgrade my storage. So we get four extra slots, which it's just four extra slots, but it can mean a lot. It can make a huge difference because sometimes you just don't have the right shapes to put stuff in your inventory. I'm just gonna fish around here a little bit. It's a new area. I wanna see some new fish. It's the Barracuda again, which gave me like 200 for like two of them. So, this is where having a large inventory space is very important. You can get four of these. I also wanna go to the different islands here. So, we're just gonna do. So, just in case you were confused, why don't I just go here? I think I'm gonna do this area, which did not take very long. And then we're gonna go over there. Because we got we got to do everything. It's the full entire. Where we we are being completionist over here. How much do you want to buy this for? Another hundred bucks for doing absolutely nothing, which means I can get the other two upgrades, right? Yeah, hundred and seventy-five, which means I get engine space as well as rods. And now we can start building on this already, which is insane. Uh, that we have the two refined metal. Which is like the main bottleneck here, but for us the bottleneck is gonna be lumber, which is probably around here. Um, oh look at all the glowy stuff! This place is so pretty at night. Aurora jellyfish, new fish. I wanna try and get the whole. Can I see my encyclopedia? We got 31 out of 151 fish. So yeah, lots and lots of fish. Uh, there are to find. Oh, you can see him. He's so menacing. I think if you hit those, they explode, so you shouldn't. What are these? Oh, these are the glowing jelly... F or glowing uh, octopus. Glowing octopus is exactly what it is. With a very annoying shape. With, with my huge... Ooh. Medusa octopus. Eight snapping mouths crawl over each other at the behest of a silent master. <laughs> this might be the best area for, for money. Early game. Because all these, like, if you have the inventory capacity to fish in this area, this is like heaven. Because there are so many huge fish that make tons of money. That one, alright, that's depleted. I can almost not carry anything anymore. 
Anything around here? It's kind of dark. No. I mean, there should be more. There were definitely more places I could land. But obviously, I'm already full. Let's get some more glowing octopus. Ah, uh, never mind. This is a different one. What is this? It is a firefly squid. We can fit, like, four of these total. I want to get all the aberrate. I don't know if I'll do that. I mean, I'll try to get as many fish as possible, but I remember it taking, like, hours upon hours of grinding in the original video that you didn't get to see because it, um, some of the fish are extremely hard to get. But I'm going to try my best to fill it up as much as I can. Um, and especially there's going to be new fish as well, of course, in the new area. Fish market. How much do you want? 400. Literally did, like, two, or like how long was that? Like, three minutes? 400. Absolutely insane. Now we got 500. I think we need like a uh, thousand for this. We need 800 for this. So three more lumber, 800. We can get that easily. Uh, I'm gonna stay out at night or stay out until the it's morning. Because I don't want to go. Crazy. All right, there we go. Turn on my light. I don't know if there's any. If she's ever gonna look at my pictures. Take a moment to compose yourself. So it's literally just probably for you as the player just for fun which is fine i don't mind that i think these are probably gonna disappear in literally one minute here yes <laughs> like one bonus I'm gonna we should first go to the different islands we got because there's an island over there there's a castle over there what is this big fish as well looks large yes uh, a coral grouper all the damn groupers and once again, like if you get here, so there is, you can go anywhere. You don't have to do the, you don't have to do the areas in a specific order, but it is nice to go to guild glyphs early. So you get like those explosives. So you can get some, some upgrades early because trust me, <laughs> if you don't do that, you're in for a very painful blood snapper. Blood leaks endlessly fr from under its skills, pooling beneath it no matter where it's placed. Dude, all these fishes just defy logic. This might already be enough. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to guess 175 for this. Mm. 250! <laughs> That's crazy. All right, 700. We're almost there. Um, let's go just ignore the fish now because you can fish here forever and go to that island over there. You can see it. I'm going to go through the middle, see what happens. It's a very bad idea. Will it kill me? Ow. Uh, no. It's not even doing anything. It's just chilling. Excuse me? I thought it's supposed to attack you. Wait, what if I just rush it? I'm very curious. I want to just try it. Oh, you didn't have the equipment! Wait, okay, so never mind. You can't do that until you have the, uh... Okay, so you can't speedrun that. I was just curious if you could. Scientist and me had to try it. I see a message there. Very important. It's already late, man. I feel like we... <laughs> Moving sometimes takes so much time. Oh, there is gonna be lumber around here. I hope so, at least. Uh, no, it's just metal and probably loot. Special loot. I'll take this. This is always just... I mean, depends on what it is. Could be worth anywhere between 15 bucks to like 400 or something. Okay. I'm not gonna take the metal because I don't really care. I want to get the special equipment so we can fish the new fish in this area. There's another special thing. So many relics. I mean, this is why they call the game Dredge after all. Um, Broken spectacles. That's probably not very well valuable, but whatever. What do we got here? Uh, research outposts. We got laboratory. The laboratory is in ruin, which with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. You get a research part. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Insert. Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It says, not safe. Expect retaliation Im imminently. Evacuating to the fort. Okay. Uh, you look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to gash... That grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. 
Oh, I'm getting many research parts. Uh, anything else? I think that's it. Alright, two research parts. We haven't really upgraded anything, but uh, we should look into that. I'm gonna take these. Look at how nicely that fits. Can fit one more right there, but I'm just gonna go over to the fort now. See what's in there. Uh, unless there's a creepy one here. I mean, I guess we already... Can we get a creepy golden one? Come on. Yes! Wait a minute. We get a Medusa octopus that's also a trophy. Let's go. And it fits perfectly in the middle. All right. We have no more... No, nothing more to, to carry fish around. We just got to rush over there. Oh, no. That's right where I need to be. I want to quickly check this. Pick it up and run. I'm just going to land here. I shouldn't be in too much trouble. 6th, 7th of March, 1927. Do we have any unread notes? Uh, messages? We have two. Uh, let's read this one first. 14th of September. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moment with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket and turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here, so they found this wooden casket, and inside was something they probably wouldn't want to see. 6th and 7th of March, we are engaged to be married! He sailed us out to the very center of the stellar basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something uh, we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, but a span of jewels going right, right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. But yes, I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given it that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Very cute. All right, seven out of 12 messages. Um, who is here? Can we talk to someone? Researcher. Um, oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes. I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months, in fact. Uh, in fact, I could do with your help if you had time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost post on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the, lar the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them all. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we get... Oh, we can get this one from the net. I remember that. Uh, we have this one already. And obviously we have this one. Okay, so this one is just going to be net then. Is there anything else? Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological science sciences in Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. <laughs> tell me, tell me about it. I studied computer science. I think we had in a class of like 400, we had like five girls. It was insane. <laughs> It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that. You know, you probably don't. I mean, I do. Well, I know the opposite way around, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't really fit the bill, though. Uh, when I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then I was posted here by myself. I thought I would relish the place, the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least some, at least a pet, at least a pet out here. It's just machines. Is there anything else? Okay, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess that's some sort of octopus or squid or an anemone. An, anemone, an enemy spotted? Uh, one of my research vessels was moored 
around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. If you noticed anything else unusual since you arrived, now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying before, before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding the, uh, them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were her in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Uh, interesting. Okay, you might also be going insane. Okay, so we need to go back to the research station because she left her stuff there. So she had to leave immediately. And we hope to get one of those Aurora fish. Maybe we got one. We got one immediately. All right, let's see. Um, what you're gonna give me for this? That was super quick. That was extremely lucky. That's why the net is such a good upgrade. It helps you with missions like these. Uh, I have for you this guy. Mm. Thank you. Looks like you've called all of the surface specimen I needed, but ah, yes, I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? Uh, I don't have the equipment. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out at, on the reef at night. Is there anything else? Okay, cool. Uh, going over there. Immediately. And I would also... So these kind of fish, right? This is abyssal. Yes, abyssal. Those are my favorite fish. They're all real spooky. Uh, we need to go over there. Oh, look at the sunrise. It's beautiful. It goes so fast so you can see how fast time goes in this game. I hope I can fit that. I probably can. It's probably a 4x4. Four four. Uh, I should maybe deliver my fish, though. You know what? Let's deliver the fish first, because it's gonna go still, and I don't- I want to get money. Fresh, still. Nice. All of it is fresh. That is 300 bucks right there. A thousand! So we can definitely get the next upgrade once we have enough. Uh, I should also probably store some of this for some extra, extra space. It's nice that they give you this big of a storage. These games can be really frustrating if you- they don't give you any inventory. So you just gotta constantly run around selling the stuff because otherwise you have to throw it on the floor. Um, I'm gonna go there now. Oh, I see a uh, wreck back there as well. We could try to get some uh, lumber from there. Uh, laboratories and ruins, yes, we know. Now we can check the equipment on the table. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher needs. Okay, it's only a two by two. Um, prototype parts on the board. Or we have it. Okay, nice. Let me quickly check back here because if we can get this lumber We could immediately get the next upgrade which m would make fishing here even easier because the more space we have the better uh, Unless this is what I think it is I don't think so though. I think this is just gonna be good. There's some boxes. Let's go We get one and another piece of the treasure map. We needed Three more right so that's not enough. Maybe stop at that island real quick if There's some uh some lumber around or some I see lumber right there maybe I'm gonna check this first though any oh, big fi whoa hello there it's insane it's like a Greenland shark or something I think these are called I didn't know they were this big it's crazy wait how do I wait excuse me uh I think the game glitched <laughs> unless he E, F, escape. Oh, no. Wait, I'm stuck in the thing. How? Okay, yeah, no matter what I do, I'm stuck here. I think I'm gonna have to alt F4 real quick. Luckily, the game saves every time you... Yeah, I don't know what this is. I can't even escape the game. Ripperoni. <laughs> Rest in peace video game. Oh, he's still there. Look at that. Nice. I was I was scared we were gonna miss him. Look at him. Uh, let's not make this mistake again. So, arrow forward, and then just press F. There we go. <laughs> and then leave. Yeah, that is a... Greenland shark, I think. Wow. Majestic. They added so many new creatures to the game. Because these type of moments were kind of rare in the original game. Uh, like, I would literally... A any single one of those moments would be like the thumbnail thing <laughs> for my for my episode. But no, now, now they're like happening constantly, which is super cool. 
Uh, I see something over there. Please be some lumber here. It's something rare. I mean, this, I should technically be happy with this. It's money. Although, make fish just make so much money so fast. We got a doubloon. Let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, don't stop the opening that because it's going to kill me. Oh, and there's another one. Wait, there's this. This is new. A slab of rock cuts above the waters. There are four large, powerful fish shapes carved into its surface and four great fissures rounding the rock base. Okay, so we need sharks here. So basically the idea of these is that you fill them up with fish. Um, and if it if you can fill it up with the right animals, then you get something special. Oh my god, it's already getting dark. So that was not wood. Um, I'm not seeing wood out there. We go to the back of this place. Is that wood? That's indeed what we need. Okay, let's hope that this is going to be at least two. It is medium, so it's going to be two. Let's go. And then we can already upgrade to tier to level two. Insane. Absolute gamer over here. I hear doggy. Wait a minute. Hello? We can get three. She wanted a pet, right? The researcher wanted a pet. We can find doggy for you. Where you at? There he is. Look at him. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small, silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Uh, disembark. You jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. It sits. Uh, let's get closer. You start walking close to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in some bushes. After a few moments, it appears again. Okay, don't do that. Throw some fish. You throw some scraps at the dog, which land in the sand. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. Maybe we can pet the dog? You're too far away to pet the dog. Okay, we're gonna get closer. But it runs away. Wait, I just gave it the fish. No? Go for the dog? You make soft, encouraging noises at the dog. And the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Pet the dog. You extend your arm towards the dog. It shies away and retreats up the shoreline. It looks at you expectantly and licks its lips. Do you want more food? Hold some fish in your hand. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but it soon begins licking at them. Pet the dog. You reach out and gently pet the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. Do it again. It seems to be enjoying it. Again. <laughs> just could just do this forever. Better, there's, I don't know if there was an achievement for this originally. Uh, you make your way towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing in a few pa a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow you. You continue. This time... Why, why would you ever scare it away, you monster? This time with the dog alongside you. It's still... Is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Cute doggy. You can return to these items later. You lift the dog into the de deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. There should be like a an achievement for having the dog with you the whole game. I mean, you shouldn't do that. You should... Whoa, look at this. I, mean, I know we saw this earlier, but it's crazy like two ships here or maybe it's just one massive ship probably just one all right we're gonna go back to the fort now because we have all the stuff oh no don't do that don't explode on me so we have all the stuff the lady needs if i can see the fort somewhere i think it's through there yeah yeah right over there oh my god this guy is out here too excuse me sir don't you dare hit me right now i have a dog on me and the dog is very precious also we can read this right here uh, the stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand on the stone. A sudden chill ruses through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A spore floats in the water, adrift in the current. Fish feast in a frenzy above, devouring its skin. The spore lands in the thick silt of the sea floor. Its roots stretch down into the seabed, gr growing, extending towards what lies beneath. Uh, okay then. I'm assuming that's understandable to some. All right, lady. I have for you two very important things as long as I can bring them to you without dying. Don't you dare. Oh, no. We're going to get super red-eyed. Okay, we can stick a little bit. 
Alrighty, researcher. Uh, hello again, what do you need? I have, did this do the dog first? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly the dog stands upright and begins to retch. It's stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want. All right, thank you. I can clean the rest up. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Uh, we also have more. We have the prototype part. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. It should allow you to catch specimen from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Okay, we get a sampling device with just 11 fishing power. Uh, we can fit it right there. Let's go. We have the space. Uh, now I've developed a repulsion. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours. But other than that, it's completely automated. Okay, let's go. Right now, take a look at the list of specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to make some improvement to that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Okay, uh, so we have all kinds of hadal and abyssal fish right here. Um, let's go. Anything else? No, thank you. Uh, and we upgrade this. So now we have this one, bottomless line. So we can upgrade this. We can even upgrade it all the way. And I think we're going to do just that immediately because this will is... It's huge. We, it's now for sale. And we have more than enough money. This is going to be such a massive upgrade. Uh, we just need to get over to the the other side. We should really put this in storage. Because if we get attacked along the way, we're going to lose all this stuff. Uh, do we have storage? Yeah, we do. Put this all away. Can we combine this, by the way? We have like that. And then we need one more piece. You probably already figured this out, no? looking around. I'm gonna carry this for now. Uh, this is huge. Let's take a detour at... I mean, what's closer? I think they're both just like equally... Oh, that one is definitely closer. Let's go there first. Sell some of the fish and... Wait. Oh, it's broken! The net is actually broken. This time. All right, we're gonna have to repair that. Wait, there's lumber! Very important. Medium as well. This could literally be three. Let's we'll see. It was in the three, and we even got a research part as well as a sapphire ring from that, which is very neat. Hello, lady. Uh, I have for you fish. 88. Not that many fish. Uh, but I also really want to get this now, which we have exactly enough for. Let's go. 800 bucks. Don't mind if I do. We have tier three hull additional slots. So what do we get from that? Nine extra cargo spaces? Look at a huge boat now. <laughs> That's insane. And we still got four lumber as well. Wait, we can maybe get some new upgrades. Although I should probably first look at buying this thing, which is 675. Okay, so it's going to be a bit expensive. Uh, maybe we could sell this engine. A hundred. I can't sell her this. Don't want to buy my stuff. Oh, I could sell 200 for a research part. Definitely not going to do that, but holy fuck. Uh, to storage. Okay. Uh, also, she saw, you need to look here. This is one of the things I completely forgot in my first playthrough. She sells miscellaneous stuff, which is like, you can get a refined metal here. You can even get research parts here, and you can buy one of these. For actually cheaper than at the, the guy. That's interesting. Um, I think I'm actually gonna buy one of these, because there was something to explode further back, if I remember. Uh, look at her ship. It looks completely different now. I'm going to quickly get some barracudas here. There's even a, a crazy one. And so that we can get enough money to buy this special... Yes, look at that guy. Holy shit. Concertina Barracuda. Its body extends, then collapses together with each gasping breath. Nature dissected into mechanical motion. Oh, baby. Hello. I got two. So I got a few more. How much is this alone? 80 bucks for just that fish alone. That is almost enough. We just need a few more. Then I can get it. I guess we might as well quickly stop by research thing over here to drop this off. It's also taking inventory space right now. The researcher's repulsion machine could be connected to the outpost generator here. There we go. Uh, small object rolls out from under the generator. More, more research parts. 
Uh, activate the machine. Yes, let's see. So we can't get all of them, but we can always turn this machine back on. So this is a repulsion device. Let's see in the middle. So now the creature shouldn't be attacking us. Yeah, it's just completely gone. Which means we can get these guys. What are these? Oh, this is Hadel. I this uh, that's what the upgrade I need is for. Maybe this. Now, oh, this is Hadel. Did you can see him down there? You can see him uh, hidden away. But now we can get ourselves the. Oh, never mind. We need Hadel for that as well. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're really gonna have to get some money so we can buy that. Let's quickly get some money because nothing here uh, we can get. Right, should be more than enough. Uh, Three hundred. Way more than enough. Okay. So now with nine hundred bucks. I would really like to purchase uh, this thing right here. So this gives 82% extra fishing speed as well. Now we might, we I guess we have to ditch the net. This gives us Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic. Or we could, is there like a small one we could fit right here? Wasn't there, wait, maybe we can get an upgrade for this? Let's see. There's gotta be a fishing rod that gets both, right? No? I guess not. I guess we're gonna have to ditch the net for a moment, which is fine. Um, because I obviously need to do this for the quest, so we'll grab this. It's all over that. I'll just store this in our inventory for now. Wait, it doesn't fit. It does fit. You gotta be a little creative with it. Uh, what's our next upgrade gonna be? We could take some better engines. Uh, this I don't think we're ever gonna take that. Maybe net. Maybe a better net. A big net, but we need more slots for that. The super engine. I think I have an extra engine slot that I'm just... Yeah, I have one extra engine slot I'm not using. Uh, and we can obviously get more upgrades as well. Let's see. More cargo would be huge. We need four. We can almost get this. We just need two more metal. I think that's going to be number one priority here. Getting more cargo. This is always good. Just, just, it just means you can get more money, which means you can get more stuff. Bing, bang, boom. Exponential upgrades. Uh, I mean, that's the first thing you buy in Stardew Valley, right? You always buy the damn backpack first. <laughs> Before that, it's so annoying. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the machine is probably... Yeah, the machine just got... Or the machine just got deactivated. So we're going to have to quickly rush over there. But then it's time to see what's in here. I'm going to run away. He's going to attack me with his tentacle. Crazy guy. Crazy. It's already 24. The time flies when you're playing this game. I was expecting uh, the way I was going to do this was just do a quick episode just about the DLC. But then I I should have realized that when I start playing this game, I can't stop because it's so damn fun. So yeah, now we're doing a full game playthrough, which I'm totally okay with. Uh, laboratory. Wait, why am I looking here? I need to look at the machine. Uh, turn it back on. Activate it. Yes. Nice. Okay. I don't know why this... I guess it's timed because I just wanted to make it timed. Uh, there's also these fish right here. I forgot. We definitely need one of these guys. Yes. One of these guys for your mission, which I think I'll literally just take one for now because these are outside of the giant fish area, so I don't... Oh, it's this. Wait, what? Hey, this is the big fish. I think. It's the... Wait, is it? The gulper eel. This was one of the things the lady was uh, talking about, right? Okay. So we got one of the special fish. And we can now also go back to get the abyssal ore fish from Gill Cliffs. Uh, we needed one of these, which I guess we'll just get all of these. Because I remember these are... This is like the most expensive type of fish you can get. Because no one can freaking fish these. Because they're uh, out in the middle of a crazy area, obviously. Oh my god, there's so much here. Uh, yes. And then there's also... Let's grab this. Dredge right there. I should get the relic, too, in the middle here. I don't know how big this relic is. It's absolutely massive. Can we fit that? Probably if we move this to the side. Maybe we really need, like, a... That should be enough. If it's bigger than that, this is a scam. Oh, my... Oh, no, it's only 4x4. Four four. Okay, it's the, it's the ring. Really weird-looking ring. Uh, where are these other ones? I shouldn't have done this during the night, man. I can't see this one, maybe? Yes. This is... We need one more than this. Look, snailfish. I want to get the cursed snailfish here. The calcified snailfish. Waiting in dormancy for its moment to arrive. All right, we're gonna head back to... 
lady at the fort because she wants all these fish, right? Hello, lady. I have for you. What do you need? You need something. I don't need anything. Uh, okay, so I'm missing one. I have this one, this one, and this one. I'm assuming this one is out in the loose jaw. Okay. Uh, I'm also gonna store... We should probably sell this one right away so it doesn't get stale. Uh, I'm quickly gonna rush over to Fisher Lady. Oh, what's over? Oh, that's the... <laughs> I thought that was something cool, but it's just our, our repelling thing. Lady, I have for you... A very special fish. What did you want to know? I found a gulper eel. That's great news. I added to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use. Oh, she literally just wants it in her record. She's not even going to take it. Uh, okay, there you go. You got... Uh, how many are you going to pay for this thing? That's what I want to know. You're going to pay 260 for a single... That's half the money I'm going to get here. Another 800 bucks. Don't mind if I do. I should really put this in my, uh, in my storage so I don't lose it. We got lots of research parts. I remember research parts were kind of hard to come by. Maybe I remember it wrong because right now we're getting an insane amount of them with no problems. Um, next upgrade. I mean, we need these two rods for if we ever want to uh, go to... Wait, we could do this one as well. Can we have enough? We don't have enough. We need eight. All right, we'll be able to get that. Um, I see big fish out there. That might be the loose jaw we need. I think it's going to be. Oh no, those are more anglerfish. I mean, I guess I'll take the crazy version of the anglerfish you got for me here. I mean, the anglerfish is already pretty much cursed. What? How much more cursed can it get? This is like one of the most legendary fish ever to exist. What the hell? Bursting anglerfish. The deep faces. The deep faces its own consequences of creation. In the darkness, brutality becomes the ultimate filter. Oh, I get a golden one as well. Big monies. Nice. Where are these loose jaws? I should look around a little bit. Um, are they here? It's a fit. There's a... Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Another one. There's more anglerfish. There's a loose jaw. Oh, they're these guys. I see. Are they? Yes. Okay, these are tiny, right? They're like three spaces. They are. They're kind of cute. <laughs> Almost in a... How is the mouth so big? How is it even gonna eat anything? Like, if it actually fully catches it? I mean, I guess it's just a kill, and then it's slowly gonna nibble away on it for for a long time. Uh, I feel like I should be able to fit something here, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, we have enough. Let's sell all but- Oh, baby! You missed me somehow? Oh, no, 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 You can't be here. You can't be here. This is illegal. Uh, this is illegal. Uh, he's just gonna chase me forever. What the hell, dude? That's amazing. <laughs> That's a full new creature that they added to this new update. So it's not just DLC, like a new area. It's also just like a whole new... Like, there's all kinds of new things to take photos of and, uh, like, scary events and stuff. Uh, I would like yeah. to, not so everything, sell so this, uh, this, this... A thousand bucks and then I need one of these for your thing which might be the last one let's see uh, I have the last one this one what do you give me I have good news and bad news which do you prefer to hurt first let's do the bad news the bad news is that the samples you've retrieved from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations the good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem this all points to one thing that thing in the basin is harmful to life at the cellular level it damages everything around it whether passively or with intent I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I've not got much to say thanks. Thank you, With. Um, you should have this. Uh, she opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to, to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. Okay, we get a new book, which is going to be a plan for the future. I also have a bunch of these fish. I guess I'll put a few in there. I don't think it'll all fit. Sounds like here... <laughs> I don't know if anyone is hearing this. This is, keeps giving me like a heart attack. There's some like background noises in this area that sound like my fucking like... Sounds like a, an alarm going off. <laughs> it sounds like my morning alarm. Not... No, not again. Not in video games. 
I play these to escape from that type of stuff. I don't know if that was just me. Maybe I'm going insane. Uh, anyway, I should go back to Fisher Lady. Uh, with some extra money. I guess we can take these. The loose jaws. I don't know how much you sell for. I think the Hadel fish is really where you get the most amount of money. Because you have to turn on that machine and everything. It's kind of annoying. And I have for you two loads of fish. One gives me 200 and the other is in my... No, not there. Is in my storage. These... Ooh. Got so much damn money, dude. <laughs> 1500. Okay, so literally just need resources and then we can upgrade this. Uh, we didn't get anything more. We would really like to get. What do we need to be able to get our net back? We need two net spaces here. Wait, maybe we can get that? I think we should get that early. Because then we can add our net back, which will just give us so much extra money. Uh, oh no, it only gives us two spaces here. That's not gonna help. Never mind. I thought it was gonna give us two spaces there. I don't know why I thought that. Okay. Well, never mind then. I'm gonna put this back. So our next plan, we are actually like pretty much done with this area now. There is uh, still some loot to get though. Let's quickly take a, take a nap. To wait until it's slightly light. I wanna, there's, uh, there's so much dredging in the middle here that's just super valuable that we could quickly do. Uh, and I wanna go to this town here. Let's first do that. We have our bomb, right? Yeah, we have the bomb. Because I think there is some area you can explode here, if I remember. Yeah, this right here. With a lootable. Oh, you can't touch. Oh, that's the, the rocks again. The loose pile of debris. Yes, please. Bada bing, bada boom. And I want this, which is going to be another one of these. We already have enough. Wait, no, we don't. We already got that upgrade, dude. It's crazy. I feel like we're going so much faster. Like, even on my huge completionist playthrough, everything took quite some time. It's kind of wild. Okay, uh, so that is at least a relic from this area that is completely done. Uh, I already checked that island. There's some dredging around here. Should quickly do. Ooh, a research part. Always, always nice to have. I mean, eventually, I think you can get all the research done. I mean, you can just purchase them as well, right? You can turn money into research part. Eventually, you're gonna sell them. What's so nice out here? It's peaceful, finally. No monsters. Maybe another three. I'm gonna go back to the research facility so we can quickly get some more Hadel fish from the middle for some extra cash. And turn that shit on. There we go. I think it only lasts like a whole night. I don't have a storage here. That's unfortunate because I'm not gonna be able to fill my whole inventory then. Uh, there's these, but these are not even in the middle. Is there any fish I didn't get here already? I think I got it all. I love how it makes you look down <laughs> to the monster. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering what was down there. Evil, evil things. What the hell? That's huge. It's a sextant. Nice. Didn't get many of these. Still medium. I think this is my favorite one. Just a seizing snailfish. <laughs> Fingers of flesh hold teeth on their lips. A, ga a grasping grip that feels through the dark. That feels through the dark depths. I don't remember some of these. I don't know if that's because I just forgot them. Or if they added more aberrated fish. I'm pretty sure every fish had an aberrated version though. So I probably just forgot. Uh, nice. Is there any more? Always night when I'm out here. There. These like crustacean thingies. That's high. How many are we gonna get? Oh, your way. I guess we can only carry two more. I forgot how much stuff we already have. Uh, maybe we can fit it. We can. Completely perfectly filled inventory. You love to see it. Alright, lady, I have for you another 300. She's going bankrupt, man. <laughs> She's. She's like, what the hell? I don't have this much money. I mean, apparently she does. And then we have. Should really go back now, right? Go back to the. Goodness gracious, that's so much stuff. Um, use this new ability that we got, the manifest, which will allow us to immediately get back here. Also, go completely insane, which means we can quickly talk to this one uh, out here. This rock. What does it say? 
The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Dark rocks erupt from the earth, pier piercing through buildings and trees, through sand and crashing waves, through ba the basalt pillars of this island. The newborn structures crackle with an unknown energy, crimson lightning arcing between them. The earth shifts, one shifts once more, and the stones lie still. Alrighty. <laughs> Evil stuff. That's how the island was created, I guess. Hey, collector man, I have I have a storage here, right? So I can just grab it out of there. I have this thing, which looks very large. The void creeps into whatever cavities it can. She she said yes. Wait a minute. She said yes. This one. I don't remember, but I said yes. What was it? That's uh, probably related to that. Okay, I need to take that out. Hello, sir. You walk in and place a jewel-encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. <sighs> We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens his crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growling crackling in your eyes. Suddenly, your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of twisted strands channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Okay. Uh, what do you do when you have all the relics? He ponders for a moment. <sighs> it's surprising, isn't it? The attachment we hold towards simple objects, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? Uh, what do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That stuttering old fool. Yes, I knew him. He joined us on the water sometimes. It was more a hindrance than a help. He never seemed entirely with it. I can't imagine he had far too well since I last saw him. Anything else? Alrighty. Uh, so you gave me a new skill now. Which, uh, I guess we should rest here for a second. Just to get rid of some of the worst things. Which I think, again, I never really got to use these very well. Yeah, the banishing words can dispel most evil for a time. So if you get attacked by, like, a giant fish, you can use that to get rid of them, to dispel them. Um, can we now fish this as well? I think this gives oceanic, right? Yeah, we have oceanic now, which means we can finally fish ourselves these sharks and we immediately get a trophy shark. A bronze whaler. That was only one there. Um, we need... Oh, there's more... Wait, this comes back as well? I didn't realize that the... The dredge stuff respawns over time. That's huge. And there's two. I'll take it. So you can literally just sit in the <laughs> starter area and get, like, almost everything upgraded to the max. I mean, I guess you have to leave to get the, the metal. Or uh, the refined metal, I mean. But still. Alrighty, sir. I have for you so many different things. I need to get it for my storage, though. This, 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 this. I'm gonna guess that this is... This gotta be at least like 500 bucks, right? Come on. That's everything. It is 418. I mean, that's still a lot of money. Holy fuck. 2,300. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I wonder if the people over in the Greater Marrow have something to say. Since I've been gone for so long. So you can see the... As I said earlier, you can see the lighthouse from anywhere on the map. So you know how to return to this area. Even when you're like super, super far away from it. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I'm just fishing. <laughs> she recoils from your flagrant lie. Why do you mistrust me so? We have n What have I done to warrant such suspicions? She turns away from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Okay, interesting. So I, I don't remember her having this many dialogue options. I've been finding relics for the collector. Uh, relics, collector. I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? 
Oh man, I love the foreshadowing. If you know what happens later, these these lines have a whole extra meaning. That's he's. I try not to talk about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I can still th hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. So that was the old mayor of Little Marrow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Hello, everyone. Good to see you guys again, but I guess I'm immediately leaving. I'm definitely going to sell you this fish, though. Uh, 130 bucks, so it's a lot of money to get those. Uh, we should now... I think. So we have done all of this. We have left our crap pots over there. We have done all of this. I think that's all the quests there. Uh, we've done all of this. So now it is time to go there. Alrighty, but I think that we're gonna go there in the next episode. This went a little different than I thought. I thought we were just gonna go there straight away, but uh, I read online that you really shouldn't be doing that right away because you need some upgrades. So we did two of the four total areas as well as obviously this new one now. So there's five areas. So in the next episode, I thought I'd keep it separate like this. So if anyone is interested in the full series, they can watch this episode to get context to how we got where we are in the next episode when we're gonna be focusing just on the DLC and probably doing the whole whole rest of the game as well. I don't know how it's gonna go. Anyway, I've just been having a ton of fun playing Dredge again. Absolutely love this game. Super, super fun. Uh, we already got two full uh, boat upgrades, which is crazy. We got lots of money. We just need to do some dredging so we can get some additional upgrades. Let's get back to the uh, to the shore here so we can look what we need in the next episode. Uh, next episode, we're gonna be trying to upgrade, obviously, all of the- I mean, we're just gonna finish the whole boat. We're already here, man, that's insane. So we need a few more metal, uh, for this, which we don't have. Uh, and we have so many research parts, so we can basically just pick whatever we wanna get. Uh, like, obviously, this is gonna be important tomorrow, which we can actually get that now. Because, wait, can we fit that? Wait a minute, we might as well- uh, literally buy that right at the end here. We're gonna just upgrade all of this and we're not we're gonna immediately skip to the next area So this will allow us to fish in every other area in the entire game. So we're gonna be taking this out and then buying the ship right uh, for, Oh, it's not even It's only that many sp spaces. Let's go. Uh, I'll buy this put a Wait, did I just buy the wrong one? Oh, I bought the right one Let's go. Uh, we have even an extra spot here. If we, I don't know what we would be able to put there. Uh, and we could also put an additional fishing rod. Does she sell anything that can catch both? No, she doesn't. I do have a small little fishing rod here. Uh, 38. I, oh, and no, I don't think that's worth it. I think you really only need to use this. You should only use this for, like, uh, for getting extra unlockables, which I'm pretty sure we have everything now. We can fish literally every fish in the game in the first episode. Now, obviously, this episode was insanely long. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, uh, I'll make sure in the title that this was not. So there was obviously new stuff here. And then the next episode, we're going to be doing the DLC. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, actually do a full playthrough again. Instead of just like, I could obviously hop onto my old save and just go to the new DLC. But I feel like that would have been... A lesser experience. I just want to experience the whole game again. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to join the live streams, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.